All right, so to recap, um, so you guys, before you guys had left to travel towards the chateau, uh, Bittersweet had a short conversation with Hay, uh, intending to keep their promise to them, but also offering to awaken the large ox. Their things had to be thought about. Yeah, I but made lots, them the offer. Yeah, thinking things had to be dunked about. Um, anyways, uh, after that conversation, you guys got on Peanut. You flew for some odd hours, decided to camp for the night. Uh, Bittersweet and Zaitari went into the forest if they could see if A, the Lord of the Hunt was in the area, and B, if they can grab his attention. Uh, Zaitari was polymorphed into an owl. Bittersweet became an elk. They roamed the forest. And... And, you know, they noticed, like, things around around were weird. For example, there's more wildlife present than normal. The, the other part of the party n noticed this. Uh, attacked by a squirrel. Attacked by squirrels and other things. Uh, attacked by birds. Uh, you also noticed that the pair also noticed that the environment around them was slowly changing. And that's when they heard the hunter's horn. And galloping through the forest was a shirtless man with an antler headdress and he started to give chase. Back at the other camp, they were being besieged by wildlife. It was weird. Um, <laughs> so you guys gave, the Lord of the Hunt gave chase. Uh, unfortunately, after eluding the Lord of the Hunt for a little while, he launched a volley at Bittersweet's direction, which took them down. Um, this is when Tay's plan was revealed. Uh, Lord of Hunt agreed to help you guys if you can get the Black Prince out of the chateau. So he may <laughs> absorb him Kidnap into the him. wild hunt. Willingly or unwillingly, it's your best guess. Um, he actually invited you guys back to his camp where there was a lot of conversation. You met uh, Sir Ingris, formerly of Chateau uh, Faria, and looking quite dead on the inside. Um, there was a wrestling match between Bittersweet and a Goliath woman. That was fun. Some money was made. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, guys, end of the night, uh, was there anything you guys wanted to do before you departed in the morning? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I, uh, is there, a, is there a way that I can give the Goliath woman, like, my scry number? Your digits? <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. I mean, she's pretty much part of the wild hunt at this point, so mm -hmm. wherever you find a lord to hunt, you'll probably find her. Okay. That's Fine. the best That's she can tell you. Yeah, I tell her. It's like, I'll look you up if I'm ever in the Feywild. Well. <laughs> uh, again. Shout it again. Yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, every time she's heard that line. Hmm. Um, okay. I would like to ra remind everyone of the Dragon's Eye Oak Acorns and the Fey Cherries that help spellcasters and uh, protect us from evil things, respectively. I've forgotten what they do. See? Uh, the fey That's why I just told you. <laughs> the the fey cherries give you advantage. Or okay, thank they you. Give you protection from evil, and yep. the uh, the acorns uh, have a ten percent chance of upcasting your spell by one level. Okay. Yeah. I I vaguely remembered, but thank you. Yep. Um, I put them in See? my uh, utilities slot, so yep. they're at the top of my sheet rather than at the bottom with the rest Me of too. my massive inventory. Um, also, I do not mind running. Melanie, yep. if it comes to it, because, well, I've done it a couple times now. It's fun going from a bard that hits things with many options to a simple fighter <laughs> that's just real good at hitting shit. Sometimes you just want to hit. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want to smack things, which is why I really want to play the barbarian concept that I came up with. I, I would like to. I would like to make an attack. I'd like to make another attack. 
It's like, okay, does a 32 make another hit? three. <laughs> does, a, does a 28 hit? How about a 27? <laughs> 30? All right. <laughs> they all hit? Great. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so it is a new day. So, Zaitari. Mm -hmm. I need you uh, to... No, uh... I, you tabby do that already. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's why I have the 20. It's like, uh-uh. No, no. <laughs> Don't make me do this shit again. Okay. Um, you got a, got a long rest, yeah? yeah? Yeah, it's a long rest. So you guys are all good Which with your long rest. Yeah, okay. All right. My 67 hit points. Okay. So um, let me... Oh, shut up. <laughs> let me see... I'm missing a whole 10. I'm going to see how the weather is faring for you guys. Did you guys want to try to scry with Brother Ox again? I think we're going to give up on that, maybe? It's up to you. Do we care? Come back it's to the It's up to you, Mallory. Uh, I don't really care. I think we have our bases covered. I think we just need to get to the chateau and kill this bitch. Mm. Well, sorry. Uh, somehow lure his son outside. Or sorry, lure her son outside uh, to get uh, swept up by the wild hunt uh, and then kill that bitch. And, okay, so the weather is really good. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually nice. a good, uh, like, kind of like a tailwind that Carrie is able to carry peanut a little faster mm -hmm. um so you will get there half a day faster yes. now peanut asks you you guys are headed to the lake of dreams where in the lake of dreams do you want to be dropped off were we told where we need to go specifically to do this thing uh because i can't remember it's been a little while relcath told you where the tunnel was so okay. the lake of dreams uh, the tunnel is situa yeah, situated uh, on the western side of the lake. The most western okay. side of the lake. Okay. That's not a riverway. And remind me again how we... Um, uh, actually get into the place? Uh, there is a tunnel... Um, that leads into the chateau. Uh, you have one of Relcath's flowers. Mm -hmm. He has okay. given it given it to you willingly, so you may pass through the tunnel. So Peanut goes to the Lake of Dreams. <laughs> yep. Um, I'd like everybody to roll a perception check. Sure. Okay. Twenty-nine. Okay. You just Loving had to show six. off, didn't you, Heather? It's the only thing that I can do well. <laughs> okay. I roll so terribly. Why would you begrudge me this? <laughs> Everyone but Zachary. And I roll the six. I'll roll <laughs> Melanie's as well, though I doubt. Well, I mean, she <laughs> might get a twenty. <laughs> You never know. You never know. <clears throat> Zaitari has things going on. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Zaitari is too busy concentrating trying on not other, to die. trying not to die. <laughs> you guys feel the wind shift, and not because of the weather itself. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's something large-ish flying around you, though you can't see, though brawny robe of eyes, right? Yes, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yes, you can see it. I need to... What do you see with your turtle eyes? <laughs> My beady turtle eyes. <laughs> what do I see is my magic bullshit eyes. <laughs> yeah, really? There is... Hold on, I need to... Alright, let's 
For someone to talk next level, I get magic bullshit eyes too. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's not as big as Peanut. That's for sure. Peanut is gargantuan, but we could say this thing is huge <laughs> in comparison. <laughs> um. Uh, the next scale down. <laughs> and with, I also have to roll for Peanut as well. Yeah, Peanut doesn't see straight. Um. Kind of circling around you, easily keeping pace with you guys, Ronnie, is a huge green dragon. Oh, has, okay. but why? Hasn't made any, and you see, you see him or her. They haven't made any violent gestures towards you, but oh, you're meaning the green dragon doesn't the, have uh, long eyelashes and a lipstick to tell, <laughs> so that we can tell it's a girl. <laughs> There's a, a pink bow. Tie, a pink bow. <laughs> obviously, tell it's a boy, and then yep. well, no, and hair if it's a, if it's a boy, the then it's just a regular green dragon. But if it's a girl, it mm. needs lipstick and long eyelashes. That's and boobs. Yeah, yeah you gotta make a gotta show like a skinny waist with the titties <laughs> that dragons don't have. <laughs> the the green dragon is keeping an eye on you. Um, doesn't see just appears to be watching you. Just observing. Uh, I'm gonna keep watching them and I'm gonna just give a small nod of my head in that direction and just kind of say quietly to the group. There's a dragon right over there. Just kind of doing its thing. Invisible? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Magic green dragon. Mm -hmm. Feels, sure. feels big. <laughs> How far... Oh, sorry. Uh, about how far away is it, Ronnie? About how far away is it? About keeping up with you, about like from p where Peanut's located, about f keeping about 40 feet away from you guys. So close. Close. Close mm. enough for you to, for most of you guys to feel the shift in the in the wind current. Oh, it mm -hmm. probably feels hot too, something that big. Mm. I mean, it. I need to, wow, my voice is all over the place. Uh, I mean, if we wanted, I could uh, toss it to spell magic, see what happens. Do we want to antagonize it? I don't Do know. We... Is it looking, um, sort of... Is it looking to attack us, Ronnie, do you think? Uh, it appears to be monitoring us. Maybe we should just try and talk to it first. Dragons are intelligent. Um, does anyone here speak Draconic? You hear Kiwi go, <clears throat> Oh! <laughs> of course! I take the, I take the little dragon off of my neck. <laughs> now, Kiwi, I, I, I ask him if he speaks Draconic and Draconic. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you. It's just like, So, so there's a green dragon. Yes. Now, Kiwi, mm -hmm. just because you're uh, a dragon kind, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not assuming that you know all dragons. I know all dragons. A green, a green dragon in the Feywild seems odd. Would you potentially know who this green dragon might be? Uh, let me think. Especially if they. Well, here, a, important question. Yeah. Are we in um, uh, the bitches' territory yet? Yes, you definitely <laughs> okay. are. Especially one that might be loyal to Sinestra. Hmm. Also, is it a boy or a girl dragon? <laughs> well, I, I assume... Can you Kiwi... tell? I... <laughs> I assume that Kiwi also cannot see the dragon. Yeah, I, he's like, well, I didn't know it was a green dragon until you told me. So... I just assumed that Ronnie shared that tidbit with us. Yeah. Yes. Um, Let me see. Give me a second. Alright, wrong. How big? Adult? Um, young? Ancient? What do you think, Ronnie? I don't know. What do I think? Have I encountered dragons before? Uh, <laughs> do I know that I am, un I am unlearned? 
I am illiterate. I've never had formal education, so I, my only experience would be from from stories, either. probably. Yeah. Uh, roll a roll in a history check. This is a probably a story based thing you might have heard of before. No. Nope. It's definitely, big. it's big. Definitely not a baby dragon. Can I estimate like its wingspan? Yeah, I can. It's I mean, this big. No, this thing no. Sales. It's yeah, you can compare it to sales. Part. Yeah, you could definitely compare it to sales. That's for sure. Um, yeah. So. Like a oh, no. man of war mainmast or. I would ju- I would just say you compare it to s- I don't know mass swing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so judging by it it's a huge mast. <laughs> <laughs> a man of war main mast, yes. Sure, sure. It's a 15 by 15. <laughs> so huge. Takes up a 15 by 15 foot uh, cube. Cube, yes. Exactly. It's a cube dragon. It's a cube dragon. <laughs> it's a Minecraft dragon. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's the Ender Dragon. Ender dragon's a black dragon. They are black. But maybe uh, this ender dragon is green. I don't know. I don't really play Minecraft. I just watch people who do. <laughs> Razkorath. It's Razkorath. Oh boy. <laughs> what does that mean? Razkorath. I've heard of him. Usually he's in him. The... Him? Him. Okay. Him. Him. Boy. 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 <laughs> definitely, definitely male. Um. Is he a good boy? Uh, Given Kiwi's <laughs> trepidation, I'm going to go with no. He's, I know. I was making a joke. He was a new, he's a uh, not a bad guy. He usually just keeps himself. He's otherwise neutral, one might say. Yes, neutral. Um, he's known as the Whispering Worm, and usually he hangs around the forest. I mean, there's forests around the Lake of Dreams, so maybe that's part of his fiefdom. Ooh, important question. Yes? Uh, Ronnie. No, not for you, Kiwi. Oh. Hold on. You can't mm-hmm. see the dragon. Ronnie, you can. Uh, mm-hmm. Is there anything <clears throat> embedded in this dragon's skull? Is there anything embedded in the dragon? Uh, roll a perception check. God Since we've dang. dealt with this before. Awful rolls. 14. From where you, what you can see now. It's perfectly scaled green skull. Seems like a normal dragon. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think it's being controlled. One could only hope, is, anyways. By reputation, is this dragon open to discussion? Well... Razkareth isn't dumb, that's for sure. Um, Is there a reason they might... Well, he would ally himself with Sinestra? Unless he has something to give her. Or she has to give to him. Mutual benefits. You know how dragons can be sometimes. Oh, yes, especially chromatic dragons. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can I make a quick something check to see if I know um, what green dragons are prone to like what their wants are yeah so, yeah i was i was just because I mean, like I my check as well oh yeah definitely uh yeah, what i was wondering be? if i could do an arcana anybody can do this <laughs> okay arcana, or arcana or history uh arcana would probably be what i'm looking for uh, okay nice nice best it's ever gonna get for me <laughs> um Tilda nice and all Rain. around, except for unfortunately Ronnie. Yeah, Tilda and Rain. Not smart. Excuse me, I got a twenty-three. And and Zaytari, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, Look, there's a lot of us. Okay, Mallory. Just... All right. So bittersweet <laughs> and Melanie know that green dragons are more of the foresty types. Uh, Tilda, Rain, and Zaytari. You know them as one of the most cunning yet treacherous of the chromatics. They right. love using misdirection. They love using trickery to get the upper hand against their enemies. 
And also they breathe poison. Mm-hmm. Fun. Is there anything that they like typically hoard or are interested in? Because like aren't white dragons like prone to wanting to hunt things and red dragons just want to have people subjugated and worshipping them? Yes. Um Green dragons, as far as you three know, enjoy more cruel pranks. They love to like they love leading humans astray. I mean, they 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 they're brutal hunters and they can mm-hmm. be, but it's so much more satisfying just to lead to lead your prey into a trap. To confuse mm. it, to trick it, to let them yep. kill themselves would be the best way to put it. They mm-hmm. like fucking with people. Oh yes. So um, I as do. for fav- as for favorite treasure, they particularly like handcrafted items like sculpture, artwork, ornate swords, magic armor. Um, they love to own anything, literally, that someone put a lot of work into. Mm-hmm. Stuff with TV. Yes. So either we are being um, corralled, sort of shepherded into a trap of some kind, <laughs> or. Um, we're being tricked in the fact that he's just being here and that's the trick is to get us to overthink things and um screw ourselves up by his presence then I say we just ignore him until become threatening? Ignore him, I would say, is probably our best bet, but we should also be on the lookout for traps. Yes. I will keep an eye on the dragon. Um... Would anyone... Do any, does anyone think I should uh, cast True Seeing? How long does it last? An hour. Maybe. That way you can keep an eye on the... Well, Ronnie can keep an eye on the dragon while in case... <coughs> in case we run into any um, hidden traps. Mm. Like, what power level would you call that? You know, I don't know these arcane terms, but... What, sp- what number sphere is it? <laughs> <with this? laughs> you have to sign oh, you yeah, that's right. the what, strength uh... of your spell. Yeah, isn't that a fifth? Le- is that a fifth level spell? It's a sixth level. Ooh, maybe not. I could cast it at seventh level, um, because I don't have any seventh level spells to cast. Um, or. Well, yeah, but you could always upcast something and make else. it cause more. Yes. Yeah. So I say, um, yeah, maybe not. It'll be fine. Or if Ronnie has uh, eyes on this real and or fake one, yeah, not. Till then, till after that changes. Yeah, I, I really don't maybe. think we're gonna be running headlong into invisible aerial traps, and if we do, well, shit. I mean, good job, BM. <laughs> I'm sure it could be very useful elsewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially in the chateau. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna be able to long rest again, to be honest, so. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Peanut mentions to you guys because he's he's sensing something something weird. Uh, but he's not t- telling you guys that he's going to start to descend. You guys are at the western edge of the lake now. Okay. Um, Peanut, what what what's what's weird? Um, well, you're there's a dragon, right? Yes. Okay. No, I can deal with a dragon. Sure, sure I can. <clears throat> He's he seems I, a little nervous. 
ideally we are not going to have to deal with the dragon at all. It is simply going to be there. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Um, but you are un under no obligation to stick around this lake. As soon as we get in the tunnel, you're more than welcome to leave. Yeah. Ronnie, the dragon's descending with you guys. He's a following. If the dragon is still following us, once we are on the ground, I think it's probably wise that we address it. A part of me says that ignoring a creature of that level of vanity is as dangerous as perhaps parlaying. I don't know. I mean, it's probably aware that we are aware of its presence, but I don't know if it's aware that we know what it is. Does that make sense? Hmm. He doesn't know that we know we know. <laughs> I bet you have ever heard of nagging. Oh. <laughs> Please don't teach Bitter Sweet how to nag. To hear all this stuff. So we might just be listening to this whole conversation 45 feet away from us. It's possible, but there's also a lot of wind rushing, so... Uh, I'd be thoroughly impressed if he could understand half of the words we were saying. I do agree that once we get on the ground, I would prefer to confront the creature on our terms rather than its. Yes. Well, Ronnie's keeping an eye on it, so long as it keeps a distance away, that doesn't mean it's going to spray poison on us. I say we just open up the tunnel and get moving. Alright. Uh, I'd say I could polymorph it, but I know these things are resistant to stuff like that. Peanut swoops down low and lands. Ronnie, the green dragon, lands as well. And he's still very curiously just looking at all of you. About how far away? Still about 40 feet away. Mm, that's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. That's an uncomfortable uh, distance. Like how close that is. Yeah. I'm just gonna start walking off to this side away from the cone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna all spread out in a way that <laughs> yep. is convenient uh, to not all get hit by a cone. <laughs> Some kind of spraying breath like cone, one might say. Is so, it a cone or is it a line? I don't know. I think the poison might be a line, but either way, you know, still gonna so, so all pan of us out. Get like yep. at least 30 feet between each other. Okay. <laughs> like we're looking for something. <laughs> yep. Mm. We're searching for a missing person. <laughs> well, I think see invisibility? Like, I'm worried about people sneaking up on us and something popping yeah. out of it if they're yeah. all playing, but could go either. Then again, I can only see invisible creatures and objects within 10 feet of me, oh. which mm. seems real fucking dumb. It is. True seeing for how high level it is should definitely give you... No, this is oh, the third certain. eye. Oh, the eye. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, there might be things hidden on the ethereal plane, but are things going to be, like, pop it? I mean, like, they're not like, it's like, they can't really affect us from the plane, right? Generally speaking. Yeah. That to pop yeah. into where they affect us. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more if it pops out of the ethereal plane in front of us. Yeah. Um, Which is really the concern, but I can see further in the ethereal plane than I can see invisibility. And, of course, I didn't prepare to detect thoughts today, because I was like, well use is that really going to give us in, in terms of you nah. know yeah, I well. didn't expect a green dragon <laughs> no one expects the green dragon green dragon <laughs> yeah. nobody expects the inquisition hmm. um, anyway. at this point as you guys are spreading out uh, Ron you see there is a a grin that comes across this green dragon's face as he's just looking at all of you <laughs> in amusement. Uh -huh. I'm gonna do the third eye and see invisibility just in case. <clears throat> so, um, oh, until... that's right. Ronnie doesn't. Ronnie doesn't have a brooch. Martin, say hi. Hi, Martin. Martin, say hi. 
Martin, we love you. Martin, we love you. Oh, yes, we do. Martin, we love you. Rubbing his face on the microphone? Eh, not really. Oh, there it is. Uh, there. Over the brooch to the rest of everybody, except for Ronnie, unfortunately. Uh, and Bittersweet doesn't have one either, does he? Or do, does they? Do they? No, they uh, do. The Bittersweet does. Oh, yeah. okay. Bittersweet has prims. Bright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just missing a sixth one that we need to get made yeah. now. Yeah. Tilda didn't have a sixth one made. Oh, goodbye, yeah. Mark. That will be uh, after we hopefully all don't die. After we prevent and, Zaitari from dying. Yeah, uh, hopefully. Uh, and also, need six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> um, I'll get disintegrated. Um, anyways. God damn it, Zaitari took our loot. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, over the bridge, I'm just going to ask, do, do we just want to address this thing? Because, honestly, I don't really want to open up the tunnel while it's staring at us. Hmm. Especially if it's in a distance that can kill us with poison breath. I agree. Do you I want to start? Is... Do you want to start it off, Zaitari, or should I? You do it. You're better. I mean, do you know Draconic? Because I don't. I don't. Um, but I mean, it's a I green dragon. It should common. know common. Yes. How does How does Tilda not know Draconic? Because there were lots of other characters that knew draconic that was fair. <laughs> when I was picking languages. Um, in that case, um, as Tilda's kind of like, she'll kind of um, adjust her skirt and kind of like pretend there's dust on it and uh, shoo it away, you know, type of thing. And then glance at Ronnie, see what direction he's looking in, and kind of turn that way and say, You know, darling, it's a shame you're invisible. We can't see those beautiful green scales of yours. Oh, darling. Then let me rectify the problem. And coming out of invisibility is this huge green dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful shimmering scales mm -hmm. that glint in the light. Mm -hmm. Not a scar on him. Uh, the, his, predator, his already predatory grin becomes wider and there are a pair of almost sea green like colored eyes that peer at you. And he's kind of just like his his claws are positioned under his chin mm -hmm. like as if he's just observing you with this look of amusement yeah <laughs> like the I'm the patronizing one here <laughs> bitch <laughs> um i'm sorry what'd you say heather <laughs> like the what you doing meme Oh. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. It's like, what you doing? Yeah. I see you're in my, my fiefdom. <laughs> well. Hello. Hello. Is there a particular reason that you've been following us? Well, as soon as you entered part of my territory, I, I had to see what was going on. I mean, such visitors probably <laughs> he's exactly like that i mean there there <laughs> must be about. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a re there must be a reason why you entered the territory of the queen of air and darkness and the territory of the whispering room yes i did not realize this was your territory as well i thought it was all sinestros she an interesting choice of uh, for a dragon to share their territory. She does not care for the woods, nor does she care about this lake. We... There is, like, a mutual... Eh, not so much respect. An understanding. Precisely. Mm. I don't eat any of her 
men or women? But she has somebody to guard her rear, so to speak. Guard her rear? Mm -hmm. Oh, from what? We're just, we're just visitors. Oh, really? That does sound mm -hmm. like an awful lot of magnanimousness on your part, and not much on hers. Well, I suppose she really she's... does. I suppose in a little Sorry. while it's going to be quite clear who is the more uh, powerful one if we don't succeed in our task. <laughs> Very true. Be... If you're here, for the reason I think you're here, mm -hmm. there doesn't have to be a violent conflict. And... Let's say she doesn't have to know you're coming. We're listening. Hmm. I have an idea what you're looking for. If you're this far out. I can show you where it is. And what might we be... Bleh, what might we be looking for? A way in. Hmm? A way in that's probably been covered over by weeds and other plant life, maybe mud, other large rocks, something that's was once hidden away real well that may have been exposed in the last, oh, say, 50 or so years and covered up again just because somebody may have noticed it. And what might somebody want in return for sharing this information? Well, I do have a generous hoard that I'm building up. Mm -hmm. If you have something of value, then I solemnly swear that, one, I will show you where you need to go, and two... Nobody else will know that you're here. Insight check. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, while they're doing that, actually, I'm gonna do that, too. Ugh. Oh, it was a terrible roll, but... Oof. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, god, that's a runner! Big dragon. <laughs> <laughs> big, big dragon. <laughs> Bittersweet's like, this dragon seems... Trustworthy. Okay. It, yes. <laughs> I like this dragon. He's very attractive. Raz <laughs> dragon is very pretty. Razkorath is very hard to read. Extremely uh -huh. difficult. Um, I appreciate how much work they put into their scales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just glitter in the in the light. Um, you're not sure. You've been running with that twenty three. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Well, so long as the reason they don't know we're here is because we're, you know, dead. It's not going to help you out. Oh, goodness. believe me. I can tell that though you may be what's the word? Bird? Huh? Bird? Bird. B -b -b bird. Bird. I got where you were going with that. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. I'm not saying you can't kill some of us, okay? <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> I don't. Both. If I wanted a fight with you, I would have didn't done it in the air. Where I have. Mm -hmm. A decent advantage, even with that bird <laughs> that you are on. <laughs> bird. <laughs> Serpent bird. Anyways, keep going. And you're already going to be going through so much trouble when you go in. I'm sure. 
And I merely don't want to get my claws dirty. I mean, why? I mean, blood, it would crack uh, my scales. Tilda would like to keep an eye out around us just in case this is an ambush. Mm -hmm. He is uh, distracting us. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, so a good point. You can row a perception check. Yep. Oh, God, that's terrible. But my passive perception is 23. Mm -hmm. So just my so initial perception. <laughs> My initial, like, look around might not have done so much, but if anyone makes a, like, if anyone cracks a stick or something like that. Yeah, okay. I'm hearing that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, since you seem to be aware of our intentions, so <laughs> long as we accomplish our goals, and if you show us where this thing that we're looking for is we might have a better chance of doing so. I don't see why you can't have what's in the house. I want something up front, though. There's no guarantee that you're going to come back out alive. Hmm. I've seen many a thief and many an adventurer go into that place thinking they're, they weren't undetected. And, well, they don't come back out. Oh, we don't plan on being undetected. <laughs> we know she's going to sense us. That's a fool's uh, errand. Trying to go in without being noticed. Why should we trust you? You're meant to be protecting the rear of beg your pardon for the term, but your queen, <laughs> even that you are... She may not care about this place, but you are within her um, domain. You're meant to be protecting her rear, and instead you're offering us something. Well... Now, darling, if you are here for the reasons I think you're here, it would seem foolish for us to trust you, would it not? Hmm. You make a point, but... Judging from... the company that you keep and the dealings you may have had with my kind in the past, I can only assume that you already know the nature of my particular kind. He Perhaps. and he, his eyes flicker at Kiwi, and Kiwi just bristles, just like, <laughs> don't put me, like, kind of like, me. just like, I'm not in this, I'm not in this. <laughs> I put a hand on like Kiwi's tiny shoulders. <laughs> Kiwi's like, I, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> You didn't say we were going to be <laughs> talking with an actual, like, asshole dragon. Kiwi's like, I didn't know he was here! <laughs> Perhaps. And I repeat my question. Why should we trust you? Because I'm if the you're... only person who knows where it is. And without me, it will take you ages to find it. And given the nature of how you just swooped in, I'm going to guess you don't have a lot of time. Do you? Maybe. Maybe not. But if one were to want to speed up this conversation, <laughs> maybe, uh, it could, so to speak, get this over with. Um, I'll pull out it from my bag of holding. I have something interesting, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach into my bag of holding. Sorry, I'm not just pulling it out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say over the brooch. I'm gonna pull out the dual hand spine whip. Uh, is everybody Ooh. okay with that? Yeah. No. All that's right. cool. Weep. I tell them. Pull out the dual hand spine whip. This is a bit interesting. 
while Zaitari is doing that, um, can I just sort of turn away a little bit so that the dragon isn't looking at me as I say into the brooch? Sure. But, uh, <laughs> uh, to Zaitari, it's just like, I can just ask the plants around here where it is. That's true. <laughs> He um, looks at it. Hmm. Interesting. I assume this was one of hers. No wonder she sent out them. We killed it. Mm-hmm. And you must be powerful indeed. Maybe. Maybe not. Tilda just kind of shrugs. One could only wonder what our powers are. Mm -hmm. But regardless, do you want it or not? Let's see. I'll take it. In exchange for showing us the location? Of course. All and right. for keeping us secret from your mistress. That's a given, isn't it? No. I don't know, is it? Sure. This way, please. And right. he will get up and start meandering over to the lake. Okay. You might want to hold your breath for this. And he will start going into the lake. <laughs> oh, hold on a moment. Mm -hmm. What well, bam? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been waiting. <laughs> I really have. You have no idea. Yeah. Kiwi, Kiwi. And it's a ritual, so I don't even have to spend a spell slot. Hell yeah. Uh, Kiwi's gonna look at Bittersweet and say, um, so, I'm really sorry, but I think I think Do my you want to stay up here? Yeah, my stop's here. I... It makes sense to me. Honestly, if I could get off this train, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, and, I, I will and, kneel down. Yeah, and so honestly, I'd, I'd just slow you guys down. It has been an honor traveling with you. It's been a lot of fun. I liked it. Come visit sometime. I He's a lot less, um, smoky. Than he was when we first met him. <laughs> a lot less chilled. <laughs> Mellow. I Sorry. think that's because uh, we've been stressing him the fuck out. <laughs> More, <laughs> he's like, yes. yeah, he's been, he's seen some shit with you guys. Yeah. I, real, do suspect that, I do suspect that someday I will come back to the Feywild, if only to see the wild hunt again. Mm. Well, I'll be near some Astra, as usual. It'll take me a little mm. while to get back there. I should have actually asked Peanut for a lift, but I don't think he would have, you know. Gone that far? Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> he gives you um, a, like, a, a like, a, a tiny dragon hug. <laughs> oh, hmm. That's so cute. Uh, while Tilda is, um, doing the ritual, just very quickly over the brooch like kind of while I'm, I'm I'm doing this I'm gonna say to um bittersweet why don't you ask the plants to see if um our friend here is leading us in the correct direction okay. unless it's a really high level spell slot no is it's, it okay it's commune with nature is speak with plants isn't okay it's and I have I don't have commune, uh, prepared prepared, but I have to speak with plants to. I love commune um, with nature when I was a totem barbarian. It's very yeah. nice. So uh, yeah, bittersweet can uh, will cast uh, speak with plants, which uh, unfortunately is not a ritual. Okay. But I can just do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so within thirty feet of me. Uh, t plants are just like there. What up, dog? Yeah. Yo, bro, what's up? <laughs> they suddenly are like, oh, 
I can think things. <laughs> okay. Limited sentience. Uh, can question. Okay. All right. Anything specific you would like me to ask? Just where the entrance to the tunnel is. Hmm. All right. Uh. So I will. So I'm. I'm actually going to do this over by the like, the water, so mm -hmm. that I can get some of. The, so I can get the underwater plants, because they'll probably know more than the ones on dry land. Mm -hmm. And I will ask. Uh, hey, you. Any of you or your friends know about a tunnel down here that a dragon just went into? Um. Or a dragon is leading us to. Yeah, leading um, us to. Potentially. Hold on. Potentially. I gotta check something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Does the grass know about the tunnel? The grass on the bottom of the lake. So here's here's the thing, bittersweet. Um within the six to ten years that the plant life in this area have been alive. Oh. <laughs> they haven't seen a tunnel. That makes sense. Hmm. Has anyone that you know seen a tunnel? Um, let me see if there. <laughs> if pl I don't I know mean, what... how long does seaweed live? <laughs> Ten years. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bummer. There's no sea trees <laughs> that live hundreds I was about of years. To say, uh, underwater sea oak. Al <laughs> <laughs> uh, kelp lifespan. Coral. 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 So I come in to use my divine intervention to try and... No, that's okay. We, we <laughs> might try and that. grow a sea tree. <laughs> we'll see if this is the entrance. Yeah. No, that's okay. No. Yeah. Kelp, kelp only is only alive for seven years. Ah, bummer. It's still a good All thought, right. though. I honestly never would have thought about speaking to the plants. And uh, water breathing whenever it's done... Is the dragon waiting for us? Yeah, he's just hey, he's like he he's okay. dived and he's kind of just like waiting there. Chilling. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's just he just um has uh, his head out of the has his head out of the water like an alligator. Hmm. Hate that. Um, yeah. Because honestly, <laughs> I could see a green dragon doing it though. Uh, honestly, if it like this, I could totally see this this guy going like. You didn't say to wait for you. Um, I'm just showing you where the thing is. It's not my fault. You can't keep up. You know, kind of thing. Like, ah, uh, come back. And I guess he's not getting Ten the spine minutes. whipped. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, so... Take ten minutes. And then we all have... We're all able to breathe underwater for 24 hours. Watch out. I guess we all go for a swim. Okay. <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like it. I know. The oh. CGI is pretty bad. What's that from? Is that from Dragonheart? Dragonheart. Yeah. yeah. Can't you tell? It's the condescending look of a Sean Connery voice character. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How could I forget? Um, anyway. I'll take ape tit for 200, Alex. <laughs> God, I love the celebrity. Yeah, celebrity this is funny as fuck. So good. Um, yeah. So um, Tilda briefly considers, um, like stripping down to underwear, but then it's kind of like, eh, <laughs> just because she doesn't want to get the yeah too much work. Wet. Yeah, but then it's like, prestidigitation can take care of it. You know. That's true. Maybe. Uh, but also, like... Um, the the idea that she might not get the dress back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Alright. Alright, you guys going in? Mm. Yep. Alright. Yes. So, when you, fo you follow him... And he leads you to... Oh, my book of spells is in my um, bag of holding, by okay. the way. Uh, he leads you to a 
area where there looks like there have been some columns that have fallen over in the past that's overgrown with a uh, mass of underwater grass uh, covered with, from the roots of lily pads and there's a blanket of uh, mollusks that covers this area. Uh, with a few swipes of his claws, um, the and in a few particular places, the the wall collapses, and inside you see a well, what appears to be the entrance of a tunnel, but it is covered thick with roots of a kind of almost shining copper-like material that hasn't turned green in its age. If it is actually copper. And he, he gestures to the, the wall of roots. Well, I guess I'll use the, um, you know, flower from Relcalf. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna assume that it works. Okay. <laughs> that's what, what that's what I need to do. All right. Um. So you hold up Relcast's flower to the web of roots, and for about thirty seconds, nothing happens, and then you start to see the petals of the flower just start to wither and die the web of roots starts to glow and they start the wall of roots starts to retract back into the earth um leaving a roughly a 10 by 10 tunnel in front of you filled with water all and, right and it is I'll dark give- I'll give the uh, dragon a thumbs up, kind of toss the Doolahan whip mm-hmm. towards him in the water, go through the tunnel. Okay. I'm not going to go very far, but I'm going to go through the tunnel and wait for the rest of my companions to come in. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is there like a rock or something on the bottom of the uh, lake that I can grab? Um, How big? Like not just very, a... just like a small pebble kind of a thing. Yeah, definitely. Just something I can uh, light up. <laughs> light up exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, there's definitely pebbles. You can even take like a light, like a abandoned to, snail shell or something. Oh shit! Actually, uh, light is a verbal thing. Oh, uh, let me see what dancing lights is. About oh, verbal, somatic, and material. Mm-hmm. Well. Presumably, we can cast spells underwater, right? Uh, I mean, water breathing just gives us the ability to breathe water. Yeah, that should be we can speak, though. It's it's up to Darren. Coda. <laughs> I'm not gonna say one way or the other. And also, hi, Coda. Kitty. Mm-hmm. Yes, now he lays on my lap. Sweet boy. He's a very sweet yes, boy. boy. Um, he is. I just want to get him some company, but I want to make sure that the company is also very relaxed, like him. <laughs> so, Darren, yes, what do you think? Is does water breathing give us the ability to um, do spells that have verbal components, or? Not. One second. Okay. Hello, Jeremy Crawford. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I think the official rules say no. Which yeah, being underwater doesn't prevent spell casting. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, that's what Jeremy says. We will we will follow the rule makers. Twitter. Follow the rules of God. (laughs) Um. So yes, you can be cast. Caster can't be. All right, so it can be cast. Well, in that case, I'm just going to cast Dark Vision on myself. Okay, cool. Uh, 
just on yourself, or...? I can only touch a willing creature. Mm-hmm. I will... You want me to do light instead? I mean, because if you were going to do dark vision, then I was going to do dancing lights. Cause I, yeah, I don't have dark vision prep. And I don't, I don't think have, Ronnie can I will see do dark light. either. I can I see will do light. Oh, you can? Okay. Oh, because the rope of eyes? Yeah. That's nice. right. Fine. Then I will not do dark vision. I will grab a pebble and cast light on it. Shing. Okay. And just hold it in my open palm. Um. And Tilda gives, like, a suspicious look to the dragon, but then smiles. He does Very that. sweetly. He does that, uh, he raises his claw, and he does that, like, finger wave. Like, toodles. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you see, you see his form disappear into, deeper into the lake. I don't trust that creature as far as I can throw them. You swim through the tunnel for a short time. Oh, by the way, uh huh. this is what the chateau looks like from above. <laughs> oh, fancy. goody. Very fancy. Ooh. It's on an angle and everything. Yep. Um, what is this, San Francisco? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm you the right place there. You no, swim no, for no. about sixty feet inward until there is a incline going, uh, uh, incline, and you are on what seems to be dry land. Um, there is a door made out made out of white wood in front of you is it like rotted and swollen nope from being underwater it, really it looks pristine hmm. i'm gonna push on it try to open it okay it's a pull door <laughs> uh, on it, try to open it you so you pull or push the door um, uh, perhaps we should get our rogue to check it for traps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll check it for traps. I'll look around. <laughs> no, I guess. I'm not going to be bothered. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You have one job, Rain. <laughs> okay. Uh, you do not detect any traps. Alright, I have to... Of course, I can't detect magical traps for the most part. <laughs> no. I mean, the investigation might reveal glyphs. Yeah, mm. that's about it. Okay. Uh, you open the door. Oh, okay. Or I mean, do you open the door? Uh, yeah, just a little bit though. Okay. Not too much. You open. I swam gonna... back away. <laughs> <laughs> it was mostly. It was mostly just to make sure that it could be opened. I didn't want to have to pull out. Um the other flower if I didn't have to. Okay. Uh, you peek through the door and let me so this is hang on this this is a large book. <laughs> no, that's not it. Okay. Um, when you open the door and look to the sides, uh, there are bright lights that come from above. Um, when you look at the space where the, like through the crack, you realize that the door, like the wall next to you, the outside, just where like the door is, is a silvery bark, very very similar in color with from the door that you just opened. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Um, You peer into what looks like a tranquil courtyard. Um, You do not see anybody. I'd like you to roll a perception check. Just me? Just just you, if you're the only one peeking through. Well, yeah, for now. I was going to allow at least Rain to to look through as well to see things, because I know I'm not going to. Unless I got a 20, yep. Um, I'll just peek back after I'm sure I don't see anything and say, Rain, uh, do you want to take a look for anything? I don't trust my eyes. You you always notice the finer details like Tilda. Oh, that was an interesting way to phrase that sentence. Well, <laughs> I, I knew I couldn't just leave it at Rain, so... Oh, <laughs> take me a second. Um, there you do not see anybody outside the door, Rain. However, you realize that there's light streaming from above, and you you take a look up, and almost hidden among the red and white flowers of what seemingly is a tree that you are probably in the trunk of are these very tiny dragons uh, with lights glowing from their chest. Tiny dragons with lights glowing from the chest. Range thinks uh, it's that kind of dragon kind of day, isn't it? They're about cat then, size. And then she'll say, um, it seems we haven't completely gotten rid of our uh, over the birch. Our dragon problem. There's some a number of small ones. They got like the lights in their chest. I don't think I'm familiar with them yet. Um, row an arcana check. Yes, I'm very familiar with them. Oh, <laughs> no. Holy shit! Wow. They're pretty rare, um, in the material plane. But they seem to be a common around here because these are known as lantern drakes. Um, most of them, they're of dragon nature. Now, let me actually give you the fuller description because you actually wrote pretty well. Do they have true seeing? That's what I like. Because if they don't, we're all going invisible. Um, the lantern, lantern drakes are named for its belly. Uh, where which glows with a warm light. Uh, they're about five to ten pounds, eighteen inches long. Um, a lot of people think they are the result of an arcane fusion of a radiant spirit and a paper drake. What the fuck uh, is a paper drake? Is that like Paper Mario? <laughs> it's, a, it's like an origami drake. Yeah. Ah, interesting. It's like a, it's a little origami dragon. So yes, yes. <laughs> Wizards make a lot of things. Wizards make a ton of shit. <laughs> they have so much time on their hands. What else are they going to do with it? Um, they're usually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're usually used for decorative purposes. Uh, they are they can communicate. They are fairly intelligent. They sound adorable. They're they're they actually do. pretty they adorable. Do. Tilda would like one for a pet. Maybe that's just Ro. Why not both? Why not both? Um, or Kane Lenolos does. <laughs> also, you... KK, you do hear some commotion coming from other areas. Not from the courtyard itself. Um, but there seems to be some chaos happening. Mm-hmm. Are there like voices, or is it, you know, like things? Uh, it, it's more like explosions. <laughs> oh, yeah. interesting. That's a lantern drink, by the way. That's what they look like. It's oh, so very cute. pretty. Drakes, it appears that some sort of party has already started without us. There are some things exploding. Let's put it that way. Things okay. exploding. You could, if you strain your ears with that that twenty nine perception, hear some screaming. Which is an 
not the worst part. It's probably the screaming. <laughs> probably from the explosions. Mm. All right. So, <clears throat> Rain, you can turn yourself invisible. So that would be myself, Tilda, Dodger Sweet, Melanie, and Ronnie. That's a lot. That would be my sixth level spell, my only one. I made everybody invisible. Unless, Tilda, might you have, might you have uh, invisibility prepared? Tilda did not prepare invisibility or greater invisibility. I could also spend a fifth level spell slot and cast Seeming on all of us. I can make myself small. Unnoticeable. God damn it. Why do I always pack the wrong spells? I'm sorry, guys. <gasps> I have Seeming. The wizard. Did, I, did I grab it? No. Also, Rain, you do hear the sound of... I had to take a look at the, the map of where you guys are. You do hear the sound of metal on metal. Kind of like a smithy. Not too far away from here. Okay. But the smith doesn't seem too bothered about what's going on either. Because <laughs> he's still going. He's, he's de definitely still going. Or um, she. Or they. Also, you hear dogs... And you hear horses. Mm. The dogs underwater. The are... No, we're out of water now. We've been out of water. Are we? Yeah. 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 You came. Mm -hmm. You okay. came up with incline and okay, you were right. at the door. Yeah. Yep. Incline. Got it. Um. All right. So. Just to keep it snappy. What languages uh, do you speak, Rain? Uh, Rain speaks common, Elvish, and Draconic. Okay. Uh, there's a. Language that you can't seem to understand being spoken, but not in anywhere in, under, in your vicinity. Probably in one of the nearby rooms. Uh, I know Sylvan. Do we know, want to um, see if I know Sylvan past the drakes? Well, I'll pile into the portable hole and so I... you can get past the drakes. Yeah, I was just about to say, uh, I don't think we want to waste spell slots right now. Uh, Bittersweet can definitely stay out as something small, or you know, do the other thing that uh, bittersweet did before which was right in uh rain's pocket uh and everybody else gets into uh the portable hole because honestly we should conserve as many of our spell slots as we can so if i use if i use wild shapes then i can't become an elemental oh that's true would you mind getting into the portable hole too i don't mind okay bittersweet doesn't care all right as long as we minded okay well i mean you know Still, just also, to make sure. I know giant and primordial. Okay. Jared, if that is relevant, um, I've got Aquan for a language. <laughs> Why? Because I'm a turtle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just so just to let reason? you know, this is what Rain hears because she is closest to the door and checked it for traps. And mm -hmm. this is yeah. what, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand. Yeah, I'm pro portal um, hole. Don't make Ronnie roll a stealth check. Yeah. Yeah, can Tilda kind of um, go over to the door and the little like sliver that we've got open mm -hmm. and try to listen for... Sure. I speak common, elvish, celestial, abyssal, sylvan, and halfling. Okay. That's my list, except I have dwarven instead of mm. halfling. <laughs> I picked up halfling from... Um, Oh my god, Belzor. Mm. Uh, roll okay. perception check. Perception check, right. A ring leader. Motherfucker! Uh, I mean, there's a lot of explosions. <laughs> and, okay. and, and somebody toiling away at a smithy. Um, yep. But you can't quite hear the no. language that Rain couldn't pick up. Mm. Tilda just starts um, attaching her bag of holding to uh, the broom and then hands that over to Rain and then pops into the hole. Yeah, I'll do the same. Mm -hmm. 
Except, you know, nothing with the... <laughs> the Put everybody the in their assigned uh, yeah, lots. hooks on my path. <laughs> One with a little Z, one with a little T on it. <laughs> <laughs> we got um, keychains that <laughs> just have our names on them. Yeah, check bags. It's like when you uh, have your hotel keys. Mm -hmm. okay. I was thinking more like uh, when you're a kid and you go to a store and you you see something that has like um that has various like names on them and you look for yours like mm -hmm. a vanity plate or yeah something. Uh, okay <laughs> okay uh so rain it's the bag of holding trick with probably mm -hmm. okay uh so you're gonna step out of the tree Yes. Okay. Let me draw. Invisibly, right? Invis <laughs> yes. Okay. Let okay. me draw what you would see. All right. So trees right here, that circle. Um, okay. You are in what appears to be a very large courtyard. Um, so the trees in the middle. There are a set of doors right here. Uh, there is another door over here. It's not to scale. Um, there are, when you look back, you see there are what looks like three rooms in this courtyard. Uh, each one of them have a door. Uh, you hear the sounds of the smithy from this place over here. Um... So you're looking straight behind. So, and then there is one more room that looks like it's connected to maybe an outside wall. And there's a. I'm just trying to get your vantage point so you would see that, 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 and there looks like a corner here. And there looks like a corner here. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see. I'm gonna ping. Uh, what's over there and what's over there? Yeah, exactly. So that's right, exactly what you see. All right, as they're climbing, I'm like, which way do we head? Like, all right, what's? We're gonna try to dive in deep or just stop at the first sign of trouble. I really don't want to. Like, um, uh, Rain, the, the language you can identify is over here on this side. The, Sorry, where was that? I didn't see Oh, anything. the language you can identify is right there where Tilda's pinging. The horses okay. you were hearing and the dogs. Sorry, I'm moving this. Uh, the horses and the dogs are. I'll put H for horse on this side. K H. Yeah. So it looks like. Uh, I'll I'll make that like an L. Language. Horse. Okay. So where are we? You are right in front of the green thing. Okay. So we're like. I mean. I'm... Here. Here's in... Are we thinking maybe horses and whatnot, looking for the prince, something? Um. Yeah. Yeah, would be really helpful to secure the Lord of the Hunt's help right now. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah, we need to seriously. draw the, the prince out first. Um, so I remember there were three ways to get the prince out. I remember that there was the horse, there was his lover, the courtesan, and then I forgot the last one. Just knock him over the head. Oh, <laughs> was that really the option? I, that might have been. I think it was just Lorem outside. He had yeah, his dogs. It, it is a option. Okay. Yeah, he likes his puppies. He likes his horse. There's this chick he's into. Right. Probably. Are we trying to lure him out? Yeah. Probably, probably would come out to help his mom if she was in trouble. Got probably it. get someone to look to find the quarters on. Find what she looks like and... You, you know what she looks like. I know what she looks like. I just oh. don't know what she sounds like. 
because um, I got that description. Like basically, what I did was I just kept changing my form through my oh, faces that, yeah. until I got it right. I can go and talk with the animals. If I could talk with the animals. Okay, so, the horses is a good starting place. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, the other option is that we literally just throw down uh, either the lich or the um, you know Koshe uh, the, the, the deathless, deathless. or um, the one that summons the horseman. Yeah. Like right now. And I'm sure that would super draw him out. Um, so um, Rain had asked Zaitari a question mm. um, while you were gone. Sorry. Yes. Oh, just which what, way do you want to go? Oh, the dogs. Horses and dogs. Got it. So everyone's going to climb in. I'm going to take another look around. Make sure nothing's too obvious looking at us. Start heading towards where I hear the sound of the horses and the dogs barking. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so. The dragons in the tree that you they that were perched there look down at this door that opened and closed in their goddamn tree. Mm-hmm. And they're just like they start like chittering and chattering. Just like um you they would be probably speaking draconic. Um there's a lot so, of languages. Um Rain, so would, know Rain, what they're yeah, Rain would know it's like what the like kind of along the lines of what the fuck was that? Was that a fucking door in a tree? How long has that been there? (laughs) Oh my god, protect the eggs! (laughs) And you see them flutter to what look like nests hidden among the silver leaves. This poor poor fucking lantern dragons. We put the fear of God in them. I know where the nests are for later. (laughs) You cruel bastard. Well, the little ones are fat. Um, it's true, but, I did say. <laughs> but they don't seem to know where you are, eh? They just saw all the door open and close, but as you're walking away from the tree, they don't seem to fall. Protect the eggs, and then I run. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you go into the... what you think is the stable. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, so... You're now, at the stable listen, door. Uh, but, listen, listen, uh, blah. Blah. Okay. listen, Okay. Uh, Take down the door. <laughs> Very carefully. Okay, that's behind. Okay. So you listen at the door. Uh, give me a freaking thank you. All right. You hear horses. You don't hear too many horses. You hear probably maybe one or two. Um. He needs to get reissued. It doesn't sound right. You do <laughs> hear dogs. You do hear dogs in this area, but they seem further away from the horses. Um, maybe in another room. Laugh when I'm taking a drink. <laughs> maybe in another room. Um, maybe connected to the immediate room you're listening to, but they don't sound like they're in the same room. Not for sure. Hi, French fry. Hi, French fry. He's he's on my notes. Um, but that's what you hear. I'm going to try to very gently open the door and peek through. Okay. Uh, you enter the stables, and you see a blue horse in the largest stall. Oh, uh, that's the horse. The animal has a white mane and silver shoes. Uh, also, next door, you hear dogs barking. Not... Probably maybe only one or two. Um... Yeah, it's he. Yeah, <laughs> for some reason, you always sleep All right, on my. Fine, come on, Coda. Come up. <laughs> right, is there an uh, an empty stall? Yeah, there's an empty stall. I'm gonna be like, okay, open up the thing. Don't mind the uh, mind the cow face. I'm just gonna say, I think we have this horse here, and it doesn't seem to be around. Could we well, just release the horse? If we, I, the... I remember correctly, if we release the horse and it gets out, that's what's gonna draw him out. Wonderful. I guess the question is now we look for how do we get him out of here? I mean, this is 
it's got to be close so stables aren't usually deep inside the castle yeah hold on let me draw the Tilda room looks at um bittersweet mm -hmm. nope. okay good with animals uh, i'm going to draw the room that you're in so this room is it's not to scale so this is the room uh there's a door over here um, there are a set of double doors over here, and there is one door over here. Okay. Which uh, one of those doors what looks what like what they go outside? Double yeah, that's doors, what I said. The double doors. Outside. Double doors, yes. I know, usually, but, you know. Logically, Not you always. logically the double doors you would assume go outside, but you'd have to look outside the doors. Okay. That's fine. The Sorry. the barking you're hearing is coming from this door, right here, next to the double doors. And um, the language you hear over here, um, who hasn't told me what languages they speak? Uh, so you, I told you some. You yeah, you told list. you some, but uh, common, common elvish giant primordial druidic. No, none of those. Um, common elvish infernal abyssal celestial dwarven sylvan. Nope. Jesus. Yeah, Halfling. Nope. Celestial. Nope. Abyssal. Nope. Okay. Um, what languages does Melanie know? Uh, Those are common. But let me take a look. Uh, Melanie knows. She talked to the hag. Oh. With the hag. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Melanie. Oh, <laughs> Melanie, knows it. Melanie says, oh, that's just Goblin. Oh. <laughs> goblin? <laughs> that's right, she does know that. I remember that's just that a up. Goblin. Is it just a Goblin? No, there's several it... Goblins, it sounds okay. like. What are they saying? They're panicking. Why? Because something is attacking from outside. Oh, interesting. What? Are they saying Good what? Reason. No. <laughs> oh. Good reason to panic. Also, a good reason to get this horse out of the stable. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think we should also do something about the dogs. So, horse first, then the dogs. Honestly, anything to draw this uh, asshole out of the castle, I'll be fine with. Okay, I'm gonna Sorry. go talk to the horse. Do All you right. guys Rose want the to muse, go? Because you just made a rhyme. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm just see if she. Yeah, they're deciding to stay in there and hiding. That That's all they're talking about. Such as the goblin way. <laughs> Hide and hope it goes away. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, you're going to... Ah! <laughs> Panic in the streets! <laughs> that's pretty much what they're like right now. All right, um, stables. There we go. Do you want me to go and talk to the horse? Uh, I think we should just open the stall door and see what happens, and then talk to the horse i would prefer to be friendly with the horse first and then because we he might or it might not be friendly to us and we don't know the powers of this horse it's yes. blue that's mostly why i mentioned just opening the door and seeing what happens while rain is invisible and we're in the portable hall hmm. i would rather have bittersweet go and work their charms I just tell mm. the truth. Precisely. Very charming. They're just sweet shrugs. <laughs> That's how it works for some people. <laughs> Are you guys still in the portable hole at this point? More or less. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rain, are you giving them some air? Yeah, well, no, we're... No, no, in the, I, just, I, I opened it up in the stall. Okay, you opened stall, it up. So in the stall. Okay. So I had a little cover, you know, in case anyone just pops in and just... Psh, close real. Yeah. Mm. Um... Listen, the only reason I want Rain to open the door first while we're still in here is because it'll, uh, no offense, minimize the damage potentially to the rest of us. She's very sneaky. She can get out of the way very quickly of things if they go bad quickly. Fine. Uh, some of us aren't. <laughs> it's your thing that we're, it's your voice we're rescuing. Potentially. Um, well, it's not all just that anymore. I'm already, cl I'm already climbing out of the portable. You talk, oh, I'll go over to the door. Alright. Uh, you see this magnificent 
blue stallion. Okay. Looking at you I, with uh, intelligent eyes. <laughs> I lean one See? elbow on the on the top of the 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 like stall door. I say, hey. <laughs> uh do you wanna hey, get out of here? <laughs> hey, you want to get out of here? Do you want to get out of here? It sounds like there's some stuff that's going on in the other room, and it will probably be safer if you leave. Um, I usually don't go out unless it's with uh, my master or the princess. Uh, are, if it are you a friend of his? It and it's speaking like. Very unlike Hay. This this horse is mm -hmm. clearly very intelligent. Okay. I'm not his... Yeah. Uh, I know him, but we are not friends. But... Uh, I'd like you to roll a deception check. I'm not lying. <laughs> I know him, we are not friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm being 100... Bittersweet as okay, alright. Yeah, they, that's they true. Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. Who, I know who he is. I know, we are. We're not friends. We do not know each other. We are here to get something from. I believe it is your master's. It's his. It's his. His mom, right? Yep. The semester from your master's yep. mother. Mm. But, I would prefer. That if there is something that is going on outside that could bring harm to you or to the dogs in the other room, I would like you and them to be out of harm's way first. Hopefully we can get your master also out of harm's way and send him to you soon. Row a persuasion check. You get an advantage? You get advantage because nice. you, you are telling the truth. And okay, persuasion. this is a horse. <laughs> 18. Okay. Hmm. Uh, horse is a horse, of course, of course. So, if I leave, mm -hmm. he, 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 he looks like he's thinking. You will not harm my master no that's not what we want to do okay we would definitely prefer for him to not be harmed okay I really do like my master he's been very good to me then that's all that we need to know okay <sighs> if you open the doors I'll go out Nice. Please don't. Will, uh... And he, you see him like flicker his eyes towards the door where the dogs are. Please don't hurt Kolia. He only means to take care of the dogs. If what we are planning comes to fruition, hopefully the end result is that you and your master and his dogs will be able to hunt forever and not have to deal with any of this ever again. Okay. Um, you see um, him like raise a hoof to the entrance to his stable. This is stable door. Mm -hmm. Could you unlock I... that, please? <laughs> oh yeah, fingers. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I unlock the stable door. <laughs> okay. Uh, he will. Zat Lazulin will trot over to the double doors. Okay. All right, I'll I'll go in. All right, and he will quietly trot outside. So you actually have a view of outside. So, do, 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 do. so it's and this. I turn to I I turn to Zaitari and in in like actual common so that the horse doesn't understand me. I say, we absolutely cannot hurt this man. He is kind to his animals. Oh, There's a door here. And then... I don't want to hurt him. Neither do I, but now we can't. 
<laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it leads that way. And that 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 outside the devil's doors look like looks like outside. Um, La Lazulin says calls back. Um, there's another set of doors I need to get through. <laughs> I will go and okay stick my head out. <laughs> like I'm just going. All right, so there's another set the of double doors, and it looks like it is a path. Um, going down that slope you guys saw down this slope this this slope in the picture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so that this looks like it's outside convoluted stables <laughs> better, better speed i got this and i'm gonna tell him i'm i'm following him invisible not uh, gonna get the door. yeah i All will right. tell lazulin is that uh one of my friends will follow behind and open doors as okay we all right uh so, um, Rain, when you open that set of double doors that leads uh -oh. down the, um, decline, uh, you can hear the sound of roars outside the walls, and, uh, the sound of hordes of bears ripping apart metal uh, and flesh. Oh! <laughs> you know what? I, honest to God, completely forgot that I thought it was the fucking dragon. Them. I thought it was the dragon, too. Uh, the horse kind of looks back for a moment, like, uh... <laughs> he's Stay gonna... away from the bears. Yeah, he, he's gonna wait outside the castle. <laughs> Just run, damn it. <laughs> Smack <Yeah>. his ass. <laughs> run like the wind. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> he'll, 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 he'll dodge the bears. And the hordes of Shadow Bay. Um, okay. Yep. So you got him outside. Mm -hmm. Solid. Nice. So far, this is going well. Um, <laughs> okay, I have an idea. Um, and I so back. The, um, <sighs> the horse said that we need to treat somebody kindly that's in the stables? Cool, yeah. Okay. Um, and we only heard one goblin speaking. Not No, we heard several. You heard several, several but they were coming from this room over here. Oh, okay, so not, not the... Not the dog room. The dog not room. the dog yeah. room. Okay. So, dog Did room. I get the impression that the, that Coley is a dog? You're not sure. No, yeah, okay. All right. Um, so, I also am currently in the guise of the consort mm -hmm. because I was assuming that we could overhear the conversation. Actually, no. Bittersweet was not talking in common, correct? Nope. Talking. Okay. Talking. Horse. 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 Oh, nay, okay. You heard nay, nope. nay, 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 nay. Gotcha. Who would nay? Um. Yeah. Yeah. My my horse isn't as good as that. Damn. Because uh, when he said the prince and princess, I was like, oh, maybe the consort's the princess now. Yeah. Um, but either way, I'm still going to keep wearing the guise of the consort, mm -hmm. assuming it might be important. But You mean the courtesan? Courtesan, yeah. Um, I think the rest of us should stay in this stable for now. Rain, you open the door to the dog room, see what's inside, and... Approach us if you need us. Alright, the dog probably up snow, but um we have to figure out who it is. Well, uh, most, I mean if you just have to peek inside. I mean do we even need to deal with the dogs? We've yeah, got the horse might. out. That's true, um, we might not have to. I would like the dogs to not be killed, please. Well, honestly, the dogs might be safer in their kennels uh, than outside. I think the horse is smart enough to take care of itself, but I don't know about the dogs without a leader. Could you tell the dogs to chase the horse? Oh man, that that's... I thought we were friends! <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that would be smart, but Bittersweet isn't necessarily the best liar. No. We would have to sell the story. Oh no, the horse got out of the stables. We need the dogs to chase the horse down. The horse is out. I think that's going to be... That might be enough. So perhaps we should just move on. Try to find... Who we're looking for. Yes, I agree. Um, everybody back in the portable hall? What was that you could noise? Try, you could try that was bittersweet, that was bittersweet not being sure about leaving the dogs, but... Mm. I, I trust you. I mean, the battle, the battle's happening outside. It's not inside. Yet. Is there anything to possibly interrogate the goblins? They might know what's more recent or where things are. People are. Perhaps that might be worthwhile. We just don't know how many there are. Well, I'm sure we can handle a few goblins. I mean, we, I mean, we could guess there's three, five, ten, fifteen that we can hear, right? Uh, or you would that be probably reasonable? guess there are probably at least maybe five in there right now. But then, would we have to kill the goblins in order to keep it secret that we are here, or would they alert? Um, their masters. Yes, I'm afraid if we question, it might not go well. Um, I'll look between everybody. Does anybody know Luke Cake Creature? No. Sorry, know what? Know what now? Locate Creature. Uh. Or potentially locate object. No. Nope. I know locate creature, but I don't have it prepped. Sorry. Ronnie? No, unfortunately. I've got divine intervention. <laughs> Do you want to use divine intervention to see if we could try to get the location of Sinestra? I mean, I... Hold on. Lead us. To I do have locate creature. It's one of my um, domain spells. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't have those in the same spot, so I didn't see it right away. But I do have locate creature. Nice. Cool. Well, Ronnie, um, if you could, either Eva or Sinestra, do you have to be familiar with the target? Because I can make myself look like Eva. It does help. It does. All right, I then I will um, use Mask of Many Faces to make myself look like Eva. Uh, ah. Yes. I actually just watched that recently. I forgot hmm. how good that movie was. I know, right? I think Coco is my favorite Pixar movie, though. You believe Both that. I, I had to write a paper on how Wally was a post-apocalyptic narrative, and people mm. were like, "Oh, I never realized." What? What? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, it's literally a major plot point of the movie. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, there's no great. Uh, okay, I know. Whatever. No, I can't locate creature from inside the portable hole because that's a demi plane. Well, it is open. You know, we're talking to. Well, what Wait. I imagine what we do You could is... boost yourself out of it and cast it. Yeah, every well, once like, in I a while. I cast it and I'll, it'll just be on. It just I won't take effect while I'm inside the hole. Yeah, mm. every once in a while we could uh, pop you out. Like, we, I mean, we have to take a break for air anyways at certain um, points. Yeah, so. you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to take a break for yes. air, not you. Um, no, I can hold my breath an ungodly amount of time. It's great. Yeah, but um, and as long as there's no water running, <laughs> we're also good. So, hmm. Uh, it's a weird specification. And it won't work if they're in different form. So if she shapeshift at all, I will not be able to locate her. I don't 
think she does. Let's and I don't think she would have, have have any reason. I mean, let's see if it works or not. Because, I mean... Yeah, the Chateau is pretty big, too. There's also a chance she's just not within a thousand feet of me for a while. That's fine. And we could just keep checking. Yeah, I don't mind casting it, so... Tell us, ODM. Uh, so you cast it? I do. Okay. Uh, she is, from your vantage point, so it tells you a direction, if I read this right. I believe so. Uh, yes. Yes, direction. She I know is... It's not like find the path. Yeah. Yeah, I sense the direction to the to the location specifically mm -hmm. and then if the creature is moving I know the direction that they're moving as well alright so she is this way oh so she's outside not necessarily oh uh, yeah the okay. place is very big yeah probably on uh, a different floor then but she's within a thousand feet she is within a thousand feet that's correct oh uh is she up or down at all um same Hold on. Uh, she's slightly above. Okay. Hmm. Gotta go up a little bit, and then we gotta go that way. How can we have Ronnie uh, triangulate the position? Does someone... Well, here's a question. If someone polymorphs me while I'm maintaining concentration, do I maintain concentration? Yeah. You should. Polymorph me into something kind of intelligent, like a monkey. And that way I can, like, like a small one, so I can, like, sit on a shoulder and point. So, okay, so, hang on. I mean, I could this make you invisible. This is how we get flying monkeys. <laughs> I could make you invisible, because, I mean... The invisibility will only help so much. Yeah, I mean, it'll give you advantage on stealth checks, but I don't know how bad your stealth... Checking Negative it. one. Oh. Well, could have you flying on a broom. Visibly on a broom. Um. That still doesn't help that much. Because, I mean, he'll already have advantage, so. Yeah, so if, if I can be polymorphed into something like a monkey or a mouse where I can ride on Rain's shoulder and point from up there, I think <laughs> that might be best. So... There's, and I can't find anything about it, uh, for like, um, for like by Crawford. Uh, if you cast a spell and then poly or get polymorphed into like, even if you get polymorphed into something that has like a one intelligence, uh, there is nothing stopping you from maintaining concentration of the spell. Yeah. And it's, all I need to do is I'm just a compass right now. So. Mm -hmm. Turn so, you into like a sugar glider or something. Turn you into a rat and then sort of just hold you out in front of us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I put you on like, Rain's okay. head? Put, put a toke on Rain's head and. Four well, left, four well, right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so things with a minimum six intelligence. Uh, <laughs> I can't make you a swarm of tiny beasts. Um, <laughs> I guess a cranium rat. It by itself isn't that high. Um, there's an ape. Giant ape, giant elk, <laughs> giant eagle, giant owl, giant raven, giant sea eel. Giant, uh, giant anything vulture, is bad. <laughs> and a tresium. I can make you a tresium. A tresium. A tresium. Yes. I'll Flying make you a tresium. Flying cat. Flying cat. That's much better than a giant anything right now. Yeah, I know. I was like, man, all this sucks I mean, right could... now. <laughs> You could turn Ronnie into a squirrel and they're still going to be able to use locate creature. Yeah, it's yeah. just them being smart enough to okay. yeah, to remember to what us. to do. Well, I mean, I <laughs> yeah. don't forget okay. my friends or anything like that, and I don't think... Yeah, but we don't want a jester as a moth situation. Yeah, no. Well, no, don't turn me into a moth. Um, but, like, anything that's within the realm of my current intelligence... Which since is... I, since I'm already it's a negative one. 
Okay. So I think somewhere between a negative one and a negative three, it's still in the feasible Ronnie range. So, yeah, so... so apparently, apparently the the limit for sentience is three. Yeah. Yeah. Three, okay. three and above All can right. be considered sentient. Uh, let's see. What's smallest? Like that's cranium three. rat. I can make you a cranium rat. That's evil though. Yeah. Of course, if it's a trust, I'm Ronnie will actually gain intelligence. Yes, because it has an intelligence score of 11. Would It'll you like, like to be and smarter? And the, I mean, a giant eagle. Once I'm back to being Ronnie, I don't think Ronnie will remember it. But yeah, <laughs> you basically your options situation for for small things um, that have an intelligence score of three or plus is a cat, cranium rat, or. Uh, a tressel. Because everything else is too big. I mean... You could also uh, be an octopus. Any of them really work, so I don't think I should be an octopus. Uh, but the, any right. of the other three work, it's dealer's choice. Cranium rat. <laughs> because at least you're small. Zelda has left the party. <laughs> Ah, you have an intelligence of four as a cranium rat. Okay. Uh, you turn Ronnie into a cranium rat. Yes. Okay. Uh, are you holding him out like a big <laughs> dowsing <That's>... rat? <laughs> Just wiggle my butt back and forth and gesture with my tail. <laughs> the rest of us are in the portable hole. Mm-hmm. Rain... Has my broom. I should probably be on the front of the broom. <laughs> Flying rat. A flying rat. <laughs> Very normal. Flying crazy rat. Could have been a flying cat, but no. Yep, that's what we do. Okay. Um, alright, so yeah, um, so, is the plan to go outside the castle and fly towards where you think Sinestra is? Hmm. I, I didn't even think about the uh, <laughs> Tresson being able to, oh, I don't know, stealth really well. I didn't mm -hmm. even look at that. Um, I don't know. It's up to rain. What's the plan? I think we go 250 feet-ish, unless it's a lot. You know, half the distance to where the castle ends, within the thousand, you know, up to five hundred feet, and uh, check in with the rat again, you know, or whatever. Well, actually, the cranium rat has telepathy. Oh, joy! So I can just tell him. Great. Yeah, I can just scream in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Pinky. Mm -hmm. It'll be yeah, very so simple. That, Left, exactly. right, forward. That's Up, exactly down. what we do. It's like A B A B. Yeah. I can't even remember what Pinky sounds like. No. I can, but I just Nerf. I can see the voice. Nerf. <laughs> we're going to have to go up then we're going to have to go right, Brain. I don't know mm. if that was <laughs> It's much it's more high pitched and very, very breaky. <laughs> Lots of uh, <laughs> too Nordic. vocal cracks. Yes! <laughs> it is a little bit too Nordic. T sounds a little too... Um... Swedish? Uh, like that, yeah. Shit. What's the name of the place where the Nords are in Skyrim? <laughs> oh yeah, Skyrim. Skyrim? <laughs> Skyrim for the Nords. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. <laughs> Skyrim is for the Nords. Oh, fuck, where are the Nords in Skyrim? <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> it's like, where's my glasses? On my head. Yeah. I forgot myself for a minute. Anyways, do keep going. Please ignore me. Okay. Right, so, cranium dowsing rod screaming in my brain. Okay, cranium dowsing rod. Alright, so... And it's constant. It's just forward, 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 forward. <laughs> oh my god. Forward, forward, forward. 
Uh, new uh, barrel uh, rolls. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, also, if you stay high on the broom, uh, the rat's less likely to be noticed. Just saying. Okay. Even when we get to where we're supposed to be, I can, I can just, you know, pocket them and they'll be invisible. I mean, hell, you could pocket him right now and he'll be invisible, and then... Yeah, but your pocket's not dead still... anyway. Yeah, just put, put, put Ronnie in your pocket. <laughs> put rat in pocket. Cause pocket I rat. got one rat in my pocket <laughs> and the other one... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna <laughs> that. Forward, 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 forward. The other one's screaming at me. <laughs> We do the thing. <laughs> I like the mental image of this cranium rat having just a fucking mental breakdown <laughs> because it's separated from every other cranium cranium rat. All right. So, are you guys going outside? Or are you going to try to navigate through the rooms? There's a lot of walls. <laughs> I think we go outside. All right. So you go outside where the horse went out. Get on the broom and zoom zoom. All right. So zoom. let me do draw zoom, a zoom, rough zoom. sketch. Make so my heart go boom boom. Thank you. Supernova, right, my supernova so... girl. Best movie ever. And Xenon was a fucking classic. <laughs> it was. And... Yeah. and I'm just drawing very vaguely where you guys are censored. This is not the scale. You so, um, you know. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, Cranium uh, Ronnie uh, <laughs> tells you to go up this way uh, about a hundred and fifteen feet this way. Um, that's correct uh, because these are ten foot squares. Um. There's a wall here, but she is in this direction, this vicinity. Windows? Um, no windows. I start doing like a, so there's no so, window, no courtyard, no, no. Chin, no. So here, so here's, here's the only, the thing you notice. There is what looks like an archway here but it is completely there's like a a barrier between there you also notice that around here where there's another part of the building there's an archway over here and there's around more where right, hold on here where oh, i drew those Jesus. lines yeah th th this whole building like wraps around okay and you see there's a Barrier? You mean like some sort of like magical purple barrier, or like kind of like that? Um... Yeah. Ugh. Looks like we're gonna have to go the hard way mm -hmm. through the rooms. <laughs> uh, is there? Okay, so like um. If I um, if somebody and then me, I can try and dispel magic the barriers because I have it prepared. But I mean, so do I. Have... I have to. I have to spell magic. But like Probably if they're going spell level now. So we were over here. Yep. We flew this way, there's shit this way. Yep, there's a lot of we're probably flying back this way. Is there like can we get halfway? Is there something this way? Um, so there appears to be a couple of these like balconies. So let me see, draw them. So there's like one right here. And there's one right about here and here. So I'm gonna fly to this balcony first and peer in. Mm -hmm. If there's anything to see, do I see anything? Uh, anyone? that oh. that balcony you see that is number oh sixty eight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, getting my sixty three. Really? Does the entry for 69 just say nice? <laughs> <laughs> there is no 69. Ah, probably just for that reason. Hmm. 
It's like um, buildings not having a thirteenth floor. Like they technically do, but it's labeled yeah, just as not 14. labeled. Yeah. So like my, buildings in uh, Japan don't have a fourth floor. A fourth in my floor. Uh, in my Wednesday game, uh, mm -hmm. I we were designing characters for like a break campaign campaign that we're going to be doing, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, it's 11th level characters and we could pick magic items like one rare magic item and so mm -hmm. i have a rogue with boots of speed nice mm -hmm. uh and i was like so i just realized how my fast how fast my rogue can go it's like if i uh use the boots of speed and then do a double dash uh i can go 420 feet per round and everyone went nice <laughs> <laughs> There is seemingly a wall there. Well, seemingly. I'll, <laughs> I'll let everybody out uh, for a breather at the very least. We're going to at least refresh. Um... <gasps> yeah. And I'll let them know that there's a magical barrier uh, that I cannot take care of. Uh, and uh, there's also other balconies further back, but we would have more rooms to go through. So, for Tilda's uh, Specialize, is that a once-per-day thing, or can it switch whatever um, you want? It's... I can switch at, um... What's it called? Um, short short long and long rest. rest. Mm. Yeah. Damn, okay. Which, I don't think we have an hour to short rest here. I mean, I could catnap us, but I don't really want to spend that spell slot. Um, is Detect Magic a ritual? Uh -huh. um, yes, it is. Okay. Do you want to do that and see if it's a if it's uh, just a wall or not? Sure. Okay. Okay. Because I can always dispel it. Wow. If they're doing this as ritual, I will just be on the lookout for there, Hear a lot yeah, of bears. Same. Hear a lot of the bears. Rawr. So many bears. Sounds intense out there. Do they sound there. like they're having the time of their life? Oh, fuck yeah. One of them's just in the- or actually two of them in the corner. One of them's lifting the other one over its head. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I have uh, the time is of my life. Is the rat screaming anything at us? Like, oh god, it's moving. Fuck, fuck, we gotta get. No, it's still in the same place. The Ronnie, you, you, you detect that the, uh, the target is still in the same place. Okay. It's just, it's just the constant forward, forward, forward. Yeah, forward, 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 forward. Um, so Ronnie is having a sense like, Oh my breakdown. fucking god! <laughs> Do we just have a pointer? Like, it's just like doing the pointer nose. Oh, not yeah, even. I, I'm in a pocket. I'm in the pocket, and I'm just only in Rain's head. Forward, 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 forward. While Tilda's uh, ritual casting... This is what anxiety sounds like. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm gonna just ask everyone... French fry, go away. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> what it sounds like um... when I'm having a panic attack. Hmm. Do you think I should... Should we save Poche and the... Um... Doom, Doomsday Hort the Horseman. <laughs> the Doom Horseman. I couldn't remember. Um, or should we use them now? What do you think? Are you asking Feed him, me? Please? I'm asking everybody. I'm in you're the middle you're of busy. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be a smart idea to have at least one thing in our pocket for us and not as a distraction. I agree. I think because I don't know if like we just throw it down and they appear or if we throw it down and it's going to take a minute because if that's the case I'd like to test it and I'd like to test it with the horseman. All right, so Tilda, you um, mm -hmm. you cast uh, detect magic. Yep. You get nothing. Nothing. Nope. Not magic. Just a wall. Just a very thick wall. All right. Well. Does uh, anyone have stone shape? 
Uh, I'd say that's just going to be. Yeah, stone shape wood. Stone shape and stone shape uh, wouldn't do us much good. Oh, that's right, because it doesn't work on built walls, right? Um, no, it, it can be a, it can be any stone. Yeah, it can be any stone, stone, but it can only work on five feet in any dimension at a time. Yeah. Oh, what's the one I'm thinking of that can? Uh, pass wall. That's it. That's a higher level. Yeah. You want to make a door? You want to make a door, right. asshole? You got to be able to cast six level spells to do it. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Too bad we don't have a. What is that? A grab of useful items or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Just pop a window in there. Oh, never mind. Fast wall is a fifth level transmutation, but it's still only for wizards. Mm. Only wizards can make doors. Bullshit. <sighs> yeah, no, I don't really have anything to get us through a wall unless I dimension door all of us through, but I can't see. Yeah. You know, so that could get a little dicey. Um, can I turn my detect magic to the um, to the barrier? Uh -huh. Kind of like point it at the barrier that's over here. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Um, this barrier is. Wouldn't it suck if it was just an illusion of? It's not an illusion. It's definitely not, not an illusion okay. magic. It's conjuration. Mm. Okay. Fair enough. We're just gonna have to find another balcony, but we need to wait for uh, KK to get back. Yep. Um, I'm trying to see if there's an oh, there like I'm turned in that could burrow. It's like I'd Legion. Too. It's like Legion says: windows are structural weaknesses. And Earth Elemental would be a siege monster. It would yeah, be but, fly, but it would break. The but wall it can't. Bur but it can't burrow. No. I can turn into a giant ant. Which, for whatever reason, does not have a dig speed. Well, that's dumb. That is yeah. dumb. Um, KK, we need to find another balcony. It's just a wall. Alright, let's go one back, I guess. Yeah, just... <laughs> it's just a wall. Alright, so the one back is connected to... Scroll, scroll, scroll... <laughs> I am so curious what you're looking at. It's not exactly. I, I this would have been a great adventure if you guys weren't fighting Sinatra. Uh, <laughs> Sixty-seven. Okay. Um. Interesting. Don't like that. Mm. You uh, turn into a dog mole. Uh, dog moles get something called worm killer rage. Interesting. If the dog mole draws blood against vermin, a purple worm, or other underground invertebrates, it gains a plus four boost to its strength and con. <laughs> Holy shit! But it takes nice. a negative two penalty to its AC, and it lasts for three rounds. Huh. Do you get the additional um, hit points from the con boost, too? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Jesus. It's so strange. It's so situational. I know, right? <laughs> oh, um, they can't burrow into solid rock. Oh well. This one is also not magic as well. Mm. Oh, it was also just a wall? Yeah. What the fuck is the point of these balconies? <laughs> or these windows that have just walls in front of them. <laughs> Next one? I guess. Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> we fucking can't give up now. Okay, guys, here we go. We just gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Alright, guys, guess we, we just gotta go home. Can't go um, downstairs either. We tried. <laughs> so there is a doorway here. Mm hmm. Um. 
Would you like to try the doorway? Oh, is it uh, magical? Uh, yes. Okay, before then no, <laughs> before we do anything else, um, while we're on this balcony deciding what to do, mm -hmm. uh, should we use the thing to summon the horseman? Because j just to make it more chaotic to draw more shit out. We can keep Coach <laughs> I pull out the prism. If you want, I've got it right here. Any opinions from anybody? Hmm. What do we tell them? Just wreck as much as you can? Yes, and stay outside. I didn't stay away from us. us saying much of anything because we're on a very small balcony. And it's already pretty crowded up here with all of us. Yes. Well, I, I mean, imagining sort of crumbling it and throwing the prism out to the chaos. I mean, they are also flying horsemen, right? Who knows? True. But, uh, just throw it. We're about to fall and splash in the. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Baba Yaga lends us her horseman. Can <laughs> we it's kill the, it? <laughs> it's the one shitty horseman. The other ones were fine. She gave us the shitty one. No, it's whichever one is um, supposed to be on duty. Yeah, for at the this time point. of day. Yeah. Or what's the time of day? Uh, it is afternoon. Mid afternoon. Ooh, the, so you're going to uh, get red sun. That should be fun. Uh, sure. Okay. Tilda uh, crushes the prism and tosses it out over the, um, tosses, like, the shards and stuff over the, the side of the balcony. All right. In, towards the chaos of battle. battle. Okay. Battle. Awesome. Hopefully this guy doesn't land on the blue horse. <laughs> That's got the store and it has magic on it, which presumably mm -hmm. it's magic. Got. Presumably. I could just I back up about... what kind of magic it is yet, so. Uh, All right. Well, that's because I was wanted to make sure yeah. if we wanted to use uh, one of our assets. So you crush the crystal, and materializing on the ground where the shards land is a horseman in oh, good. red garb. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> Uh, in bright red garb and orange beard, he summons his steed, and once atop his steed, he runs down the first individual that comes into sight with his <laughs> lance. All right. Nice. As you watch the woman get pierced upon the lance, she ages rapidly in front of you until she is reduced to nothing but dust. Metal. Oh, fuck. That's so hardcore. I love it. And then he rides off to find his next victim. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up, buddy. Yep. Was this um this woman on our side or on the other side? You have no idea. Okay, great. <laughs> she was just some person who ran out of a building and got pierced oh. on the lens. Oh, then I would oh. assume it's on their side, <laughs> not ours. Yeah. Hopefully it wasn't that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> It was a woman of some sort, okay. of description. Um, all right. Wouldn't that be awful if <laughs> of, it was of some after? sort of description? <laughs> there are many people in this building. Of some sort of description. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. all right. So, anyway. what kind, what school of magic is uh, on this door? Uh, school of magic is. Hold on. You cut out. Hold on, hold on. No, okay. she, yeah, she's figuring it out. Yeah, I gotta look at the school of magic on this thing. Da, 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 da. Abjuration. Abjuration. Okay, so it Abjuration probably is. Abjuration is the shieldy. Yep. Uh, yeah. Somebody should um, dispel magic on this door. Uh, I'll do it at third level. Unless we want to use the time of opening. It's loud, obviously, but. Let's try the dispel magic first. From 120. I'm fine using the dispel magic at their level. Okay. 
Um, hold on. Spell magic. I need you to make a thing. Uh, a a check. Yeah, yeah, an arcana check. Arcana um, check. Not an arcana, sorry. Do you want... uh, it's going to be with my charisma. Yeah. Do you want one of my divination rolls? And or guidance. I can offer both. Uh, what's What are your divination rolls? 13 and 19. Um, should do it, right? Yeah, thirteen should do it because I have a plus five. If this is a ninth right. level spell, fuck, dude, we got problems. <laughs> so I'll just take the thirteen to be safe. And I can cast guidance on you just in case. Sure, that's fine. Twenty. Twenty. All right, the sixth level glyph ward dispels. Okay. There we go. And. Peering inside the room, uh, if I can th get this thing up. Uh, looks Ooh, like first map. Uh, map, 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 map. Well, Wait, that's just a roll. No, no. Oh, no, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Divination, baby. Let's let's check in with uh, Ronnie for a second. Ronnie, how's how's he doing? <laughs> Ronnie four, 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 yeah. four, four, four. <laughs> That's what Ronnie is saying. Ronnie four, is four, fine. Four, 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 four. I just find that fucking hilarious. <laughs> the closer we get, the louder Ronnie gets. Oh, <laughs> forward, 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 forward. See, and here right, I was right, thinking right. it's like a. Um, here was here I was thinking it's like a um, GPS, and they're like when you do something that they don't want you to do and they're like, go back! Go back! Go back! Make a legal U-turn when able. Make mm. a legal U-turn when able. Uh, this look, this area <laughs> looks like a, um, there are a set of beds, there is a desk, um... Are ah! we meant to be on a map? Nope. Because I'm not on a map. Oh, you're okay. not on a map. Oh, you're just looking at Yeah, stuff. I'm just okay. looking, I'm lo just looking at what room you're in. Uh, there are cleaning supplies uh there are neatly folded laundry uh tossed aside to one side of the room so like a maid room base uh maid mm -hmm. possibly folding. yes any magic in here tilda um hold on a minute because i had to cast oh wait no um hang on let me see if i kept concentration on uh um, detect magic for a second because I have to as in dual focused so well guidance isn't concentration. it is it concentration is. up to one minute oh right I see um, I mean I wasn't planning on keeping concentration on it uh, but it but because it is a concentration spell gotcha I have to um, yeah, already has, you can maintain concentration on both spells simultaneously I must spend a standard action each subsequent round on maintaining this concentration. The end of each turn, where you have two spells you are concentrating on. Do I have to? Um, I'm gonna uh, do the thing. I just put it in the chat there. I. Um, well, the spell ends after. Right? Yeah, the spell ends. Yeah, so you're already. Yeah. So it really wasn't that long that I was concentrating on it. So I don't think I have to do any of these. It would have been a round at most. Yeah. Um, you're fine. Constitution saving throw. Uh, ten plus the number of complete rounds. Is that? It, do you want me to? No, you're you're fine. No, okay. All right. Then I keep um deep 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 looking for um magic. Okay. Um, so there is. All right. So let me draw where you guys are. So you guys came out from this balcony. So let's just do that. Um, actually, it's more like this. Sorry. And there is so you. There's a door right here. I'm gonna draw it in a different color. Because <laughs> I messed up. Starting to look like a face. All right. There's a door there. Okay. Is the door magic? Uh, the door is not magic. Okay. Is there anything in here that is magic? 
No. Doing a thorough scan. And then I look at uh, Saitari and just shake my head. All right. Should we all get back in the portable hall? Hmm. Pop back into the portable hole, then. Yep. Uh, other question for locate object. It doesn't tell you the distance away. It just tells you the direction. Yeah, for all the locate spells, it just tells you the direction. Forward, 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 forward. forward. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure if you could sense, like, if you were close or not. <laughs> not no, really. Not hot, cold. You get hotter or colder, depending on... <laughs> Unfortunate. How close you are. All right, so as I pop back in, gather it up, um, peek out the, uh, the doorway. All right, uh, you doorway. peek out the doorway and you see. It's a mimic. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't check for traps, damn it. Uh, it looks like you enter what looks like to be a giant solarium with nice. doors. <laughs> That I will draw. <laughs> All right, there, there's a there's a lot of doors here, guys. All right, so roughly this is a fucking maze. I mean, it's a palace. All right, so <laughs> it's this way, and then oh, you're in the solarium, so it's there. There's a tiny archway there. Um, so there is oh man, there's a door here. Uh, there's a door next to that door. So there's one a... thing before before you draw all the doors. Okay. There's only one more door. Oh, okay. Never mind. That. And there's one more say, door Ronnie, here. Ronnie is doing locate creatures, so it could just point to the door that we need to go to. <laughs> forward, 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 forward. <laughs> now is that forward? <laughs> right, forward. So those are our three forward doors. Forward this way, yeah. or forward that way, or forward. Forward this way. This way. Got it. Kind of go up that door. Listen. Uh, you go to that door. You listen. I see. All right. So, boink, 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 boink. You hear. You hear many voices. Of men, of women. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of people behind this door. No, no, uh, I'm not Not the uh, no, no. Uh, the language I don't understand again. Uh, it's a pure. It sounds like everybody's speaking Elvish here. I speak Elvish. Yeah, they're talking about what the fuck's happening outside. <laughs> Why, why, why is, is the, the palace being besieged by bears? Why are there bears everywhere? Oh my god, the horse got out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, how did that? Oh, ooh, do we hear? Is oh there no. A thing about, um, is there one person who's like, what did you just say? <laughs> um, I must go get my horse. Excuse yeah. me, please, while I go outside and get my horse. <laughs> Um, I'm they meant they, they meant they mentioned the princes went to go get his horse. Oh, yes. right. that's when you hear the hunting horn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all I hear is forward, forward, forward. Yeah, forward, forward. all you hear is forward, 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 forward. Uh, okay, Rain please tell. Uh, if if you get to anything important, uh, I'll be right back. I just want to mention it. So. By the way, are we looking for Eva or Sinestra? We have. I'm looking for Sinestra. Sinestra, okay. I am going to try and do a crap and peek in the door. Just, you know, like. Just enough to get an eyeball around, you know? Okay. Um, so are we die, guys? I need to check one thing. You're totally gonna see you, and we're all mm -hmm. gonna be stuck in this damn portable hole, twiddling our thumbs. No way bonus action to, to open. Okay. So. <laughs> Hopefully, I roll high. I might need that 19 on the mission. I can't see you right now, so I can't give you that. Shit! <laughs> I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, fuck. 
Okay. At least it's not strength. Roll good, roll good, roll good, roll good. Yes! God bless you. Okay. Uh, oh, I was scrolling <laughs> up. I'm like, what? What? Oh. Let me, let me, let me check the. DC. Darren, how dare you sound disappointed? Let me check the DC. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, this is um. But it's a natural twenty. Come on. Something good should always happen on a natural twenty. I mean, 21 is high. 21 is very high. But not high enough, I imagine. I mean, I, we no. don't know that. Uh, That's why I said I imagine. Yeah. DC 21 is insane. I'm, I'm just seeing what's the save condition. Uh, so uh, it could still suck. If it's... Half. Okay. <laughs> There is a searing, blinding light that nearly blinds you, but doesn't. And your hand burns with the force of a thousand suns. Five hundred suns. Five hundred. Okay, this is only five hundred suns. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. Um, I need more. Need, I need more twelves. All right, so we'll we'll go with those first. Uh, adding. And then divide by two. Okay, so that is... You take 28.8 points of radiant damage as a sunburst nearly blasts you off your feet. The door is still closed. All right. Didn't check for traps, did we, Rain? I'm not gonna see a magical trap. The fuck is... The... Downside of being a rogue. Um, was there any change in commotion? Uh, um, it was loud, so now the room in front of you is quiet. And you hear, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to just bang something around inside of here. <laughs> okay. And just find something to make noise. Okay. Find a bit of you're trying to get attention now. Okay. Let's see um, if anything comes through. All right. And uh, then you open up the thing. <laughs> um. Also, when you did that, um, now that since you were temp, the room was temporary illuminated. You do spot like the glyphs locking the door are still active. Hmm. Glyphs. Remind you that say. my passive perception is 23. Yeah. <laughs> it's an Which investigation it check. <laughs> well, my passive investigation is 21. You wouldn't have seen it. Fuck. Is so uh, no interest in what's happening in here. Uh, they don't sound like they're gonna come through the door. I'm back. Rain got blasted Nothing by a Nothing happens! <laughs> she got- oh, Because she refused to check for traps. <laughs> She's fine. She just singed her eyebrows. <laughs> a lot. She singed a lot more than her eyebrows. Yeah, really. Forward, 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 forward. Um, Rain, you hear voices saying, go get the queen. Queen's busy. She doesn't want to be disturbed. I'll go get the queen. It's your funeral, says somebody back. <laughs> well, let's She's the only one that can... this door. She's the only one that can open the door, etc., etc., etc. Okay, let's open the... 
uh, portable hole. <laughs> okay, you opened a portable hole. So, there's a problem. <laughs> you guys um, can hear some of the commotion from over the other side. <laughs> you look like you've gone through hell. Why is your why is part of your hair on fire? Oh, oh got it. Um, why is it dwell on things? The door is locked magically. Um, the queen is the only one who can open it. Do we want to try to go around, or would you like to try and dispel and hide to an alerted room? I mean, if they already know we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Cranium is like, Tyr can open it. Tyr can always open it. Forward, 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 <laughs> forward, forward. Can Tyr make a Cranium rat fly? <laughs> um, should I end concentration on Polymorph? Uh, I'm going to end concentration is, on is willing. Oh, well, you can probably communicate to you, too, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to end concentration on polymorph. Now. Okay. <laughs> um, while this is all going on, I'm just going to be I'm going to start detecting magic again. We might just have to start fighting our way through from here. The the spell on the store, the one that rain triggered is mm -hmm. definitely It doesn't say what kind of spell this is. So, I'm gonna... so if it's like that kind of door... Um... And of course, if we're not doing it quietly, well, there is always the chime of opening again. It will unlock anything, but it is loud. Let's be loud. It's conjuration. There is... It looks like... Actually, roll an arcana yeah. check. Alrighty. Bloop. From your arcana check, there was a particular sequence that has that it, there is a proper sequence of mystic passes and flashes to open that open and shut this door. Huh. Jesus. You could probably do it, but it's going to be difficult, and there well, might be a backlash on actually trying to open the store this way if mm -hmm. you fail. Let's just use the chime of opening. People already know we're here. Eh. Mm. I gotta check the chime of opening. <sighs> I know it opens doors and then it breaks. That much I know. Ten chimes, uh, it'll open one lock. Um, if it's not locked anymore, it'll open the door. Okay. From everything I've read, it doesn't really matter what the anything else is, but I don't know enough to... I mean, we can all just stand far back <laughs> and use it. Hold on. Um, is there magic on these? On those? Let me try yeah. to take a look at the map. Um, that is 51 and 59. Yes, on the one next to the maid's door, and 58. Yes, on one on the one next to that door. They're all magical. Okay. Really locked. Interesting. Mm. So, you chiming up the door right in front of you that blasted you in the face? Yeah, I'm going to back up uh, okay. to the other side of the vault. <laughs> and suggest everyone else does as well, just to be safe. Oh, yep, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And we'll start with one chime. Okay. Ding. All right. Door opens. I need everybody in the room... Did it only take the one, or did it take two? It took one. Okay. Yep. 
I need to roll everybody to roll a dexterity saving throw as a bead of red comes through the door. Cool. Ah, fireball. Um, fan fucking tastic. Uh, that's a twenty-two for me. Okay. Sense. Big three. <laughs> I gotta check oh this chick's saving. That's a 29? Yeah, you're fine. You're probably fine. Uh, I'm so okay. fucking screwed. Thanks, oh. evasion. Do you, do you have evasion yet? Yeah. <laughs> Why do I have to roll? Ronnie, that? Zaitari, Tilda, you are Seriously, going to I take... rolled a two. I temporarily <laughs> evade back to the material plane. <laughs> <laughs> Rain stands behind Ronnie. I can't actually do that though. It's a total protector. I can give someone cover <laughs> with my giant, giant body. Can you give? Can you give me cover? <laughs> yeah. See, look. Or here, me. me. Um, as a reaction, when you're forced to make a dexterity saving throw, choose any number of creatures within five feet of you. Each chosen creature is considered to have half cover against any harmful effect. All right, 5, 10, 15, 20, 28. For those who failed, everybody else takes half, which is 14, and Rain doesn't take any. I already took my damage. 14. 14. Would Total Protector do anything for us? I don't think it matters for Fireball, because yeah, it goes fireball. around corners. Mm. Uh, when you open so your room. It, was, yes, 28. Yeah, 28. Uh, you are half because it's fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. You all suck. <laughs> I hate you. Um, inside this room, so this is 62. 62. Excellent. This very high ceiling hall with several niches and hidden chambers for the prince's men and ladies in waiting. Welcome to the Great Hall of the Shadow Court. <laughs> on oh, the main fun. floor, black, <laughs> it's wallpaper, it's <laughs> black wallpaper hangs from the walls between a dozen, of the, a dozen columns of alabaster set with perches for lantern dragonettes. The floor is made of an alternating black and white... Um, tiles and the ceiling hands with glowing jewels in the shape of unfamiliar constellations and there are the following uh shadow fey dogs archers always present and a couple of the courtesans are here so what yeah. a coach jay i'm <laughs> oh, fucking breaking my my gym okay are you like throwing him in and shutting the door <laughs> A am I doing what? Are you throwing him in shutting the door, or are you going in... Oh, no, we're not going to shut the door. I'm just going to... Okay, you throw Koshe. I'm going to break the crystal. All right. Uh, right in front of me. All Say, right. fuck him up, Koshe. <laughs> okay. Kill everybody in that room. All right. Um, <laughs> as you <laughs> smash the crystal onto the floor, the, scent of, the stench of rotting meat fills the air. A swarm of flies starts to form, and a wispy, opaque fog forms on the ground. A man with a bone crown and a wispy, long beard emerges as if from the ground itself. His pallor seems to glow in the well it's kind of dim in here dim light as he starts to fuck shit up all right uh i need Let's a map <laughs> one of the many maps <laughs> oh boy Is, are eva and sinestra in that room nope damn i'm still concentrating on my spells so. <laughs> okay are you though oh, did you okay. yeah. oh yeah it's not exactly as I described, but it will do. <laughs> I am still concentrating on my spell. Uh, let's say the doorway is here. <laughs> this near that stairwell, because I couldn't okay. find an exact replica of this place. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Where's the next doorway that we gotta go to? Uh, the next doorway, according to this map would be located all right so you are in 62 there would be a doorway here 
uh, there would be the door. Actually, I hold on. So you came in from that. I got Orientis. Um, right, so if you came in from that doorway, all right. So there would be normally a doorway here. That's right. And and doorway to your. Forty, sixty-eight. This goes out to the outside. Next doorway is over here. This guy right here. Do we want to all jump in the bag of holding as rain runs through the room? Um, uh, you mean Ronnie... the portable hole? Yep, that's what I meant. Uh, while Ronnie says, "Go to that door." Ah, uh, yeah, he's he, he's de definitely telling you to go to this door. Yeah. Which one? This guy. South door. South door? Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. Alright. Uh, because Koshe is distracting this entire room. Uh, Koshe okay. is currently fucking shit up. Um, Good job, Koshe. Let's see what he is doing to everyone, actually. We don't have anything to work against Sinestra now, though. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I'm assuming that Koshe will be able to deal with the room. So, basically what I'm going to do, uh, like after he materialized, and say, fuck everything up in that room and follow the open doors. <laughs> I can't believe he has this. Um, Alright, Rain, uh, I am going to make you... Do several dexterity checks to get to the other side of this room, uh, because Koshe, in mm -hmm. his magnificent wisdom, is summoning meteor swarm. <laughs> <laughs> do we just want to wait for him to just fuck shit up in this room? Then I give the DM something, guys. Come on. Okay, I just don't want it to kill you. I mean, you could wait well, if you I mean, want. I mean, is it dex yeah, checks or dex saves? Dex checks. Okay. So you're, you you know where you you see him cast, so you can probably dodge everything. <laughs> Possibly, yeah, or you can wait. You can face. wait. I will let, uh, allow you to wait. If you want me to, I can give you a bardic inspiration. I don't um, know if that'll help. I mean, if you just want to wait, we can wait. Because I already took the hit. I think we should. Meteor swarm. I should probably wait. Yeah, because it can. It, it might kill you. Yeah, because it's not a save. Yeah, if it was saves, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, fuck it, you know. But all right, all right. let's see. Just crowd in by the by the door. We're just gonna watch outside the door and just be like, holy shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, he will meteor swarm. I gotta do some calculations here. Tilda's doing her best not to gag. The smell. Uh, no, yeah. For, I think everything's gonna be dead. I can hand you a uh, perfumed handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Toda, why must you, why must you always sit on? And then, okay, sounds good. There are how many people in this room again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not anymore. Um, because I'm pretty sure this will kill them all if they do save. Murder. <laughs> Murder and destruction. Cut says hi. He's sitting on my uh controller, so I can't. He rubbing his face against the mic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, sweet boy. Okay, so that guy's definitely dead. He doesn't meow at me unless uh, he's begging for my attention. That guy, those not... guys are definitely dead. So it's give, allowing give, him give to him sit him on attention. me. I'm giving him attention, so he's not meowing. Um, yeah, everybody's kind of dead. Because I wrote a 74 and then a 73. Mm. So they're kind of dead. Everybody well, in this room is dead. Nice. All my friends are dead. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll just walk through the room now. Yeah, Koshe just looks at you guys with dead eyes. Literal right, dead eyes. <clears throat> just, uh... This follow way along, for... Koshe. 
This way for more death and destruction. Mm. Yes, I mean, I, I don't think you get out too often, so why not kill everything that you can besides us? Did anything us. nice and magical and shiny survive that? <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. It's right there! <laughs> everything is a fucking lump of, like, smoldering metal. Well, magic room. doesn't get destroyed, so... Mm. I mean, you could take the time to look if you want. I'll trail through, behind for half a second. Or, through you know. through the, the, the ashes. <laughs> it's yeah. like fucking Thanos just walking into this room and snapped his fingers. Or, you know, wait a turn or two and run to catch up. Uh, you you find a... You find a healing potion. A grater. Nice. Yes. Just in a pile of ashes and... You might as well just meat. use it now. <laughs> That's true. I check it. it just, um, uh, yeah, actually... Off. I'm also going to chug a greater healing potion. Because I have four. What is that? Uh, that 44 must be nice. Plus four? Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever that was that I just did. 44 plus four, yes. You need to add four to that. You don't have that in. Yeah. Ah, well, that pu puts me back up to four then. I mean, full then. Hey. <laughs> Same roll. Same roll. <laughs> Same hat. <laughs> okay. Um. So you roll up to that door. I'm gonna use the wand of cure wounds on me real quick. Okay. Do you just want to use the chime of opening again? <clears throat> Sorry. Rain, do you just want to use the chime again? I'm playing goes the chime. Alright. The door takes two, but the door opens. Alright, so I'm down to seven. Alright. Um... Is Ronnie still a cranium rat? No, uh, Ronnie's has, Ronnie. Ronnie okay. hasn't been a cranium rat. Because if Ronnie was a cranium rat, they'd be definitely out of it now. Mm. Alright, you enter from over here. From over here. Okay, thank you. I can't believe Koshe had Meteor Swarm. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it was his only one, though. That's fine. <laughs> It took care of the whole room, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys enter. Um, there... Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> meow. Brandon? Same Brandon? At you. Yeah? Could you check ketchup? I think someone's she's outside. She's yep. I'm guessing somebody was meowing at her. Mm -hmm. Someone wanted food. Yeah. What's the who's the one that always wants treats? It, it's ketchup. He's he's. Ah, uh, yeah. Th there's somebody outside. Ah. Uh, I was about to say it's her husband who scream. wants the food. <laughs> he's just downstairs screaming, "Food! Food! Food!" No, he's he was howling at a cat outside. No, mm. no, you were talking about your husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, guys. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll need a, a miniature for Koshe. <laughs> make him a s scaly bone. Yeah, he's a, a lich. Spooky. It's just a lich. He's a spook. He's a spook. Spoopy scary. Is he a lich? Yes, he is. Yeah, he's a lich. Um, who wants to control Melanie? You said you would do it? I'll okay. Do it. Let me do that. Um, by the way... K might not be around for much longer. Yeah, we'll end at twelve. Okay. Yeah, I've got. I moved Monday, and I've got company coming on Sunday, mm. so I've got tomorrow to get the house ready. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind uh, going to bed soon, anyways. Cause, yeah. You know, um, I, I will. I will I set the early. the ambiance. Okay. Just get initiative rolled and plan some shit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, don't bother giving me. Well. No, yeah, still give it to me because then I can, I can roll initiative for Melanie. All right. There are about. Uh, where are my notes? Okay. So 
so you see in this room, which is a lit with glyphs, blue flame braziers, and a giant vortex in the middle of blue and black flame of death with hundreds of souls being whirled around in its vortex. Sounds sounds great. Yeah, oh, it, it's, it. um, there are two individuals in this room that you can see immediately. Um, Oof. Oof. Uh. Nah, that'll, that'll do. Um, you have... Don't you have an uh, advantage on initiative, Bittersweet? Um, let me look. Oof. I know barbarians get that. I just don't know what, what level. It's a bit later. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there's two people. Yep, there's two people. Uh, black skin. Uh, you have seen them before, but only through scrying. Uh, these are the individuals, I believe you were told, called Grimm's. Uh, mm. evil fae employed to hunt those whose master wished them dead. Yep. You do not see Eva, nor do you see Sinestra. Um, is your locate creature still up, Ronnie? I assume? Should be. Yes. She is here. In front of oh, you. Oh, that bitch. She's invisible. Yeah. Bitch. Yes, she is. Well, actually, would Ronnie be able to see her? I can see invisible creatures. You do see her. I can point directly at her, so I do. Yeah, she is in front of her <laughs> throne. <laughs> Wonderful. This forward, 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 forward. <laughs> <laughs> Increasingly panicked. Um, <gasps> I can still hear it in my mind. <laughs> And she is going to let forth her trigger. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately. Um, so, all of you, I would mm. like all of you to roll a constitution saving throw. As a sphere of negative energy ripples out in a 60-foot radius... All right, what is her save? Uh, should I do Natural it? 20, natural 20, natural 20. Should I reroll that? I mean, yes. that's entirely up to you. I'm going to try and reroll that with Lucky. Oh, um, eh, maybe. And maybe. Melanie. Yeah. I was just about to say, Mallory, don't forget. Hmm. Don't forget what? Oh, Melanie. Uh, Melanie. Sorry, yep. Put your sheet already. Um, one second. Oh, no, memento. Bump, bump. Okay. Oh, oh and Coach Jay. He's fine. Uh, He's a lich. It's ne it's necrotic energy. Um, <laughs> uh, just jumping, very checking. No, I don't know if liches have resistance to that. They might. It's hit or miss with undead. Um, uh, he's gonna choose to succeed. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to choose to succeed. Cool. Yep. He's going to yep. do that. <laughs> because the rest of you all fail. Oh, fuck. Oh, 21? It's not enough. Versus a 22? That bitch. Not enough. Oh. So. Guys, you... I think we might be fucked. <laughs> so, bring your A game next week. Next week, I'm not going to be here. Okay. <laughs> so, my controls are tarry then. Do we want to do this next week with Saitari not here? That's a good point. This is, this is kind of Zaitari's like... Mm -hmm. Whole All right. arc. Well, um, so for everyone, I would like them to take 34 points of necrotic damage. 
Okay. I'm resistant to necrotic well, damage. Here's the thing. What if we just don't want to? <laughs> well, that sucks for us. That's that's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean... Don't worry, depending guys. Depending on if that was on the low or high end of that damage, and if she can do it again, it's going to be real bad for me. It but once it comes around to the one count, I can heal everybody. Oh, I'm. Um, you know what? Uh, sorry, on Coast Shape, he doesn't. He fucking ignores it. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, is he? He's a yeah. He's a, he's yeah. immune to necrotic. Okay. No shit. Right. It's, I mean, listen. I've looked at a lot of undead stat blocks. It's real hit or miss. Like yeah, I was just like I I I wasn't looking. All right. So anyways, so yeah, you guys have. You got a lich, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back next week. Come Will we? Then. Or are we going to delay because Mallory's not going to be here? I think we can delay. It's cool. Mm -hmm. We could play board games next week or something. Okay. It's fine. That'll give us time to plan anyways. Because yeah. mm. right. I have uh, plans for Rain, considering that she's a bit lower in the initiative order so all right and i just have to make <laughs> sure that that spell is used okay great oh that's right uh and ronnie is pointing out where yeah. <sighs> she is Where's she is, is yeah. currently right here she's like right ronnie. in front of her phone yeah right, right in front of her throne. Her phone. yeah i can point okay. like, cast <laughs> mask your wounds that's Sorry. fine i just wanted to i just want to know because basically my first action for when we get back is going to be dispelling magic uh and magic if ability. people need it to i also have packed mask your wounds nice yeah I'm, I'm not doing hot so i'm definitely gonna be doing it i'm at 37 i'm at 22 so. I'm yeah, me and Ronnie need, we needs the healings. Twenty eight. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll roll for Coach Che and her and DeGrims, and yeah, we'll see you next week. I mean, week after next. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. See you next week. Eighteenth. Yep. All right. Talk to some of you tomorrow. Yep. All right. Okay. Later, guys. Bye. Night Thanks for the game. Thank you yep. for the game. Mm -hmm.